Hey, this is Ray Bank coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony Volume 4. Get up for Tony Hitchcliffe! Fuck yeah, this is exciting. Welcome, everybody. Another Monday night. Kill Tony. Make some noise. It's Brian Redband, everybody. Look at that. Hey, what's up? You know him. You love him. Everybody does. Ryan J. E. Belt here drawing tonight's episode. Hey. He's got a blank sheet of paper. At the end, the end, everybody's like really cramped up up here. Look at this. Who sat this room tonight? I know. How are the waitresses going to get those people drinks right there? Yeah, what the fuck? Who fucked up here tonight? Jay Light, what's up? What happened? It's a podcast. You got to say something. Cramming them in. Cramming them in, huh? <laughs> There's a whole different way to do that. Uh, we got Jamie Vernon on the HD camera. I like That's it. Good. Let's do this. I'm hey, excited. Yeah. We have uh, some shows coming up. Oh, right yeah. Kill Tony's doing San Francisco Sketch Fest at the end of January. SFSketchFest.com for tickets. And yeah. we are also doing Moon Tower in Austin, Texas. This show that you guys are at is a traveling comedy circus now. And that's on uh, 420. On doing the all Tower. the coolest festivals. Yeah. Who would have thought? Three and a half years of doing a silly, fun show, and all of a sudden... And it's weird. We haven't been sick on a Monday. I was thinking of that the other day. Like, have we ever been really sick where we had to, like, call off and be like, hey, I, we have you to... Did, you did once. I did once? Yeah, you did once. Yeah. I'll never forget it. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I like that you tried to fool me there, though. I mean, look, we've never done that, right? Hey, do Never you... really talked with you about this, huh? <laughs> I, I really don't know if I did. I no, did. I'm positive of it. Positive, 100% positive. I remember being furious. I remember asking you if I can do it without you. Oh. I'm like, can we just like, can I just do it and just record with no music or sound effects or anything? And then you said no. Well, I, stuck, <laughs> I stuck to my guns. <laughs> stuck to your... No AIDS is going to stop me for... Uh... All right. There's an AIDS joke that did nothing. Nothing. You guys ready to fucking do this shit or what? Yeah. Another day at the office. Okay. Got my buddy Brian... My brother Donnie Hinchcliffe is somewhere. He's a badass motherfucker. Lives in Venice Beach. Comes out to the show. Rick Huzik, our neighbor from Jackass and Fun Things. But uh, you know what? One of my favorite things is that I get to see every week at this show is uh, the band. We have a Kill Tony band. One of them is MIA today, I believe on Christmas vacay. Uh, his name's Pat Reagan. And so we are stuck with the lovely duo of... Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. They are wearing cards. This might be the best production value of any entrance you guys ever had. This is fucking awesome. Just the two of us. Put your hands together for Jeremiah. Watkins and Joel Jimenez. What instrument are you playing tonight, Jeremiah? The I can't I can't move my head any direction. Uh, yeah, I feel like an owl right now. The sax in the back. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> you could tell he put a lot of thought of that one. Like backstage in the mirror, he's like, "Oh, I, I get it. My moves have been so restricted, so I'm gonna say owl." <laughs> <laughs> For whatever reason, that was your owl. What was the first thing? <laughs> For whatever reason, I can't hear myself right now. <laughs> like I, I feel like a dog at the vet, like with one of those cone things on its head. So I'm gonna have to take this off pretty soon here. How do you guys feel without the front man, Pat Reagan, uh, not being here? Do you guys feel like you're missing a limb or something like that? Yeah, pretty bummed. Sending love and holiday joy to Pat Reagan. He's in Indiana right now. There you go. We're getting tweets. They say that uh, Jeremiah could just put his stomach through the hole of the, the two. Yeah, Brian, Are you really you getting tweets already yeah, about Yeah, that? Brian's reading the tweets over here. Yeah. He has an app with sound effect and tweets. There you go. We just got another one. Oh, that's, that, you know what that sound means. Another person. All right. Um, so every single week we have two hilarious guests on the show as well to sit through it all, uh, to meet people and have fun w with us. Uh, that's never that's never changed. Always two of the funniest human beings. Always two of the greatest guests. This week, no different. Put your hands together for the great Jay Larson and Tate Fletcher. Yeah, OG killers. Jay Larson, Tate Fletcher, badass motherfuckers. 
Tate. Jay. What's up, guys? Welcome. How are you? Uh, I'm excited to have you on the show, Tate, especially because I feel like people are going to be scared to death of you uh, <laughs> just performing that closely to you. Tate's one of the most badass motherfuckers in the world. You recognize him from a shit ton of awesome right movies. Yeah, they're going to be awesome. right there. Right within a fucking gorilla arm's reach of you. Yeah, he has exactly. Just snap their neck. If you guys watch Westworld, he usually has half a face because he uh, did something to it with a rock. Jurassic yeah. Park, Sicario, <laughs> fucking ton of crazy shit. He worked with Denzel and Denzel, Johnny Scordis. Yeah. He stabbed me in the head. Yeah. And then I took a headshot in another one of his shows. You pretty yeah. much always die, right? He killed pretty readily. I always say it's a great living dying, but <laughs> <laughs> gets a laugh. That's always good. That's all you'll get from me. Don't expect more. <laughs> How many times do you think you've died? Because it is weird. Because I've known know. you Somebody for a just long asked time. Me to count it up. I'm yeah. Not, yeah. I don't know. You should put a reel together. Of, death, of just you of dying every single time. Yeah. It'd be like a cum shot compilation. Yeah. Except me dying. Yeah. Exactly. You guys like aren't that. offended by cum shot. That kind of language is okay here. You should mix in one cum shot though in the thing. That's it. So it's like death. Like, oh, it's this guy dying, and then. Ah. Jay Larson, one of our favorite comedians. Huge, huge crossover we have with your hit podcast, Crab, Crab Feast, Feast, baby. Ryan Sickler. Sickle Cell. Jay Larson. You know it. And I've done it. You guys are hilarious. Nothing cooler than hearing people yell at me in Australia. Hey, Joey! In, Aus- in Australia, people are yelling at me references from our podcast that I did. I love it. That's great. It's so surreal. So anyway, a bunch of crazy shit's going to happen tonight. If this is your first time seeing the show, a bunch of people sign up. Sometimes it's comedians to try to debut at the comedy store and do 60 seconds. Sometimes it's completely insane people that have listened to the podcast and made some weird road trip. Remember Ichabod? You remember? Yeah. yeah. You guys know who I'm talking about? <laughs> I love that the show's gotten to the... Finally, it took forever, but the show's finally getting to the point where I can tell the audience is actually starting to like remember the things that are the funniest to us. Oh, man. Ichabod. I mean, oh, my God. If you don't know... I now ne- you know. I never will forget Tony's face whenever he <laughs> <laughs> he saw the name and he, then he looked up because he knew it was going to be magic. He just goes, coming to the stage next. Ichabod! <laughs> like because it, the whole storyline was set earlier in the episode. The second creepiest human being I've ever seen in my life. I pulled out of the bucket. He came up and we found out about this guy. A bunch of crazy shit, right? But we knew, he told us, we said, how'd you get here from Vegas? And he goes, I came with my friend Ichabod. (laughs) And he was the second creepiest guy of all time. We went to the bucket one last time, like we always do now at the end of the show, pull the name out, and spell, I'll never forget that some of the letters were like backwards. (laughs) Like like a C, like an Ichabod, I does backwards C, H, A, backwards B, O, D. I'm like, this is going to be fucking crazy. And like, it was. It was <laughs> even we were like, if you look, the actual cast that's here every week was like shell shocked because he was literally like something straight out of a haunted fucking everything. He he, he teaches kids <laughs> grammar with a nine inch nails alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the first creepiest? That should have got a little bit more. Wake oh, up, Ichabod guys. was the first creepiest. The second creepiest was who we pulled What's out earlier. Guy? We boy. knew his friend was going to be creepy. We heard all we heard was one reference. And it got a huge laugh. I came with my friend Ichabod. This guy said it. We didn't know who Ichabod was. What if we did this the whole episode? We just were like, talked rem- about remember, Ichabod. Remember that one episode? The special. This is a uh, special. I didn't tell anybody, but this is a special uh, early New Year's Eve uh, episode. It's a best of show. Yeah, yeah, we're actually out of town right now. Red Band, play the clip. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at this. Sam Tripoli. Look at that. Just coming up, hanging out. Look at one of our favorites. Uh, Parents go for Tripoli. Sam Tripoli, everybody. What's up, man? I love this. What's going on, Sam? Enjoying the Masters. I love that. The Masters at work. Look at all these guys. Everybody's in great shape. <laughs> Got great morals. <laughs> Everybody's, you know, working with the Lord. I love it. I love it. Look at this group. Sam, I'm excited, man. We just did Punch Drunk together. You had Mickey Gall on the show. You, yeah. have a new, you have a new conspiracy podcast. Yes, called Tim Foil Hat. And it's with Eddie. <laughs> first episode is Eddie Bravo. I got another woman coming in tomorrow, so we'll see how it goes. I love it. It's deep, bro. We go fucking deep, bro. All right. Well, there you go. That's some. That's Sam Tripoli, everybody. Get There's your, some lizard people in this back, room right, right now. Trip. There's some lizard people in the room. I know you're here. 
There you go. Pizza Sam- Gate is real. Sam Tripoli. Pizza Gate is real. Is They're you- fucking the children. All right. This is, this is why. You- <laughs> this is why you never. If you ever watch Joe Rogan when he interviews the fighters after every fight in the octagon, he never ever, no matter how hard they try, he never hands off the microphone. You don't ever hand the microphone. I'm surprised. Brian Redband, ladies and gentlemen, on the ones and twos. Just, uh, I, just kidding, Sam Tripoli, everybody. Just with a little 45 second hijacking. I like show. I like how Sam said he was enjoying the show. He gets a plug in and then he walks out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> he really did. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> That's why I don't give a fuck busting Brian's balls about letting him do it. You guys know how the show works. I pull your name out of the bucket. You come up and you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. It's unbelievable. After you know your 60 seconds is up and you hear the sound of a kitty, that means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck. Okay. Are There's we a little rattlesnake in there? Are we inside a rainforest cafe right now? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. The volume seems low in here. I need it louder, man. This is very, very, very low. I don't know where it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're not going to break anything. There we go. A little bit better. All right, I pulled a name out of the bucket. You guys ready to do this shit or what? Make some noise yeah. Monday night. This is it. Let's get it. Everything's in position now. The rest of the show wasn't really part of the show. This is where, <laughs> this is where avid listeners of the show fast forward to, is this part. So welcome. I just pulled a name out of the bucket, and that name, by the way, it sounds fucking great. Thank you. Put your hands together for Damon up there in the bird's nest. What's up, D? Great, great adjustment. Love you, buddy. Always killing it. Put your hands together for your first comedian of the night, Charlie Winfrey. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh, all right. All right. It sounded like a boring name to me anyway. I'm sorry. I sort of like that. Yeah. Fuck you. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Ben Palmer. Here he comes. Thank you. I was in uh, Denver, Colorado. They have recreational marijuana there. I was excited. I went to a dispensary and got a joint, and then I found a bench in the middle of the city and smoked the joint. And then someone told me that uh, you're still not allowed to smoke in public. It's like open container. I'm like, well, why'd you even legalize it then? Just to take it home? Because I've been taking it home. (laughs) That's been legal for me the whole time. (laughs) I was high walking around every store I could find, every every green store, because all the dispensaries are labeled in green letters. And I ended up in H&R Block. (laughs) Killing it, Ben Palmer. That was fun. What's up, Ben? I'm going to talk to you now. Hey, how's it how's going? How's it going, man? Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? What's up, that was man? awesome. Thank you, thank you. So you're from what? Seattle? No. Where? Uh. You, <laughs> Did you guess that? Denver? No. No, I just visited Denver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Ohio. Oh, cool. Oh. What part? Uh, Cleveland, Akron, Northeast Ohio. There you go. Mm-hmm. I'm from Youngstown. Youngstown, Ohio. yeah. You seem very sleepy. Um, this yeah, is how you I have am. a great swagger about you. You have great fucking timing and everything. That was awesome. You have a real natural delivery. How, m- how long have you been on stand-up? Eight years. Eight years. Maybe that's why you have a natural delivery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> super natural. I mean, just overnight delivery you have. That's Thanks. awesome. Thanks. You've been doing that mostly in Northeast Ohio? Uh, how long have you been out here? Uh, like a month and a half. Oh, wow. Um, Welcome. Thanks. Yeah. Is this your first L.A. show? Um, well, it's the first... It's easy first one at the comedy store. Uh, no, it's not my first LA <laughs> show. <laughs> You've been uh, hustling, like doing a lot of spots. Or? Yeah, yeah. Anywhere I can get out. Uh, yeah. How much material do you think you have like compiled over eight years? Um, um, I could probably do. You know, I mean, I I travel and do a half hour, forty five minutes. But you know, I always get sick of my shit, so I end up cutting it down. 
I'm probably happy with like 15 minutes right now. You seem like you really do smoke a lot of pot. Yeah. I smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> yeah. But I'm looking at you like, holy shit, this guy's, <laughs> like, this guy's the real, realest fucking deal of just <laughs> really not giving a fuck about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't smoke as much as I used to, but I probably smoke myself retarded or something, you know. He, he looks like he lives inside a weed grinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like he shit. just contorts at the end of every night <laughs> in between the uh, wedges. Do you have a hacky sack on you? That's yeah. a great question. <laughs> Were we just talking about that the yeah. other day? That's so funny. We were playing air hacky sack. I didn't think I was going to get called up tonight, so I came with comfortable, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you always come like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... Uh, Pretty sure you're you're pretty comfortable a lot. Like, uh, what's the what's the most uptight outfit that you have? What's that? A t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, th- this is his business suit. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. I actually just got this outfit uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, wow, th- that's brand new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he called it an outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Joel Jimenez with the good catch there. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> you crashing on couches or you got a spot? I got a spot, yeah. Did you, when you say you got this all uh, uh, recently, like, was that all in, you mean, you got like, even the hat? Like, everything, like, oh, he's or, so um, did they lose your luggage or something like that? that? Like, what made you? The hat, too, man. The hat, too. Everything's new. Except for the shoes. I've had the shoes for, like, a year. Wow. One year. Yeah. <laughs> It was yeah. in good shape, man, for a year. I'd like yeah. to think that couches find him like stray cats do. <laughs> <laughs> Lay on me. You guys really get... Uh, <laughs> Lay on me. <laughs> you guys really understand me. I'm, I'm glad this happened. Hey, um, I actually uh, you know, was in the Air Force, and I was stationed at Vienna, uh, at Youngstown that's Air, Air Reserve. That's how high you get, is that you join the military, and you're like, I got to get in the Air Force. Well, I've smoked myself <laughs> to 35,000 feet. No, but, it, was uh, in, it was in Youngstown. That's why I want to tell you that. Wow. The, the, yeah, that one in uh, Warren or whatever. Nice. Yeah, Vienna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Air Force base talk. I like yep. that. Uh, ben, <laughs> what's the fucking highest shit that you've ever done? You ever like lose your keys inside of like your meal or something like that? Like, I mean, oh, um, I <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a picture of that one for it to really be funny. Like, how'd my keys? I'm gonna set my apartment stuffing? on fire. Uh, said, well, I don't know what you said. You just turned into an AM uh, romance DJ for a second. <laughs> just me, Ben Paul, one time. The ones and twos here talking to <laughs> you to sleep. <laughs> what was, what, what was that? Is that? One time, uh, <laughs> I just got confused for. I got I got high. Did everybody and nobody? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I see. (laughs) (laughs) That was amazing, Brian. That was very silly, dude. I've been wondering. It almost made me like pass out for a second (laughs) because like my brain really got confused. I was looking at everybody's mics at once, and there was still somebody talking. Who the fuck has a microphone? (laughs) Sam Tripoli back? Oh shit! All right. <laughs> hey, Tony, got right, another that's podcast. Enough, that's enough. You're <laughs> immediately beating a dead horse. That's what happens anytime you say good job to Brian, is he just doesn't stop with it after that. All right, Ben Palmer. Yeah. Highest shit you've ever done. Oh, uh, one time um, I came home from the bar and I was drunk and then I smoked and then I tried to cook some rice on the stove and I was like, well, I'll just take a nap now and wake up when the rice is done. Uh, <laughs> It's a good timer, man. It yeah. really is unbelievable. N- once I started hearing him, it did. It was basically, I mean, you fucking, you just had it. I woke up when the rice was done. <laughs> <laughs> and then what'd you do? Uh, my roommate woke me up because of the smoke in the house. <laughs> 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 this is almost like a reverse Tam Fam situation <laughs> where, like, Ben doesn't even have a choice. <laughs> we just get to decide what he says. <laughs> You've become part uh, of the machine. All right. So you cooked some rice? What the fuck was that story? I don't know. And then what happened? <laughs> he uh, set the house on fire. Yeah. That's was there actual oh, flames? Just a lot of smoke. All right, all right. A lot of smoke. Now he's not even talking to us. He's just like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we jumped smoke. the shark with Stephen Wright. What, else, the what show. else do you do besides comedy? Um, uh, well, uh, who cares? Uh, right. No, I mean, Good answer. I do. I have a job. Um, what do you do? But I, 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 uh, I um, 
I like search for YouTube videos mm -hmm. and the, the person who posted the video. And Whoa. so I work for a company that licenses YouTube videos or whatever. Wow. Yeah. So you're sort of like the YouTube police. No, no. Like, all right. So like uh, I'll watch like a world star compilation video all day. And then like within the compilation, there's Wait, clips. That's what I do. <laughs> Hold yeah. on a second. Well, clearly yeah. he knows what he's doing. How he's the paid. You're the guy you're that's making money off doing this. Yeah, I make money off of it. It's crazy. So, yeah, it's a great job. It's the best job I've ever had. I'm yeah, really happy. Dude, you're living what my jobs dreams. have you had? Huh? What are the what's the worst Pe job you pizza had? Pizza delivery. Uh, <laughs> Probably uh, a typist. That was really boring. You were a typist for who? A uh, research company. Take this down, man. <laughs> yeah. I can type fast. I type 120 words a minute. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sup now, play. Get that typing up, Red up. band, red band, red band. That's red what I wanted to tell you. Um, I love it. Any other crazy skills or talents that you have? Um, I, I tour with a show where uh, I use a projector screen and a projector and I put images on the projector and then I like <laughs> voice the images like stock photos I'll put them on a projector I want to ask <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask a question that I've never asked a guest on I'll the show it, man. I'm All gonna right. ask Tate if you were going to kill Ben and it's just you and him and you're in the desert right and just two men out there and he did something to where you had to kill him how would you do it <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Again, Red Band's in it right now. Perfect. I want an actual answer I to this question. I never really expect Red Band to be that dialed in, but he's really he's, dialed in. He, when it comes to sound effects, he's a fucking guru. Oh. Him and I are both old school God. stern babies. First I, I, first, I conjure what he would have done. But like, I think, I guess, just for survival, so you'd want to not bleed him out because maybe you'd want to drink his blood. That's a, that's a good point. First I like thing it. I would have thought. He took the <laughs> desert thing and he's turning it into a... Ri that's exactly... It's a survival, right? I love that. But then what? You, you'd get excited and you just rip I mean, his for sure fucking head off. You'd strangle him, right? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> if I was you, I would do so many fun things, Tate. I would like try to like move mountains and shit. Butt stuff. Oh, there goes Brian. See, that's why he's better on the sound effects. Uh, just... Speak through the old keyboard. Hey, um, hey Tony, he's got yeah. the sweetest thighs in the business. So let, like, keep it, keep it easy on Red Band. <laughs> All right, Red Ben, Band. how's your love life? It's good. Um, I have a girlfriend. That's why I'm not homeless, and that's why I have this outfit. Oh, that's awesome. What does yeah. she do? Uh, she works for a software company. Um, she's a project manager. Wow, very fucking cool. Yeah. Where are you I'm living? I'm what part of town? West Hollywood. Awesome. I'm lucky, man. I'm well, very welcome, lucky. man. Thanks. You got some funny stuff. Eight years of experience in your belt. Yeah. Anything else for Ben, guys? Any parting words? I got something. Do you yeah. want to be a stand up comic or you want to be a writer or a director? Do you know what you want to be? Yeah, all of that, actually. You want to be all of it? Yeah. How serious are you? Very serious. Okay. Yeah. Just stick to some of that material. You say you write it and you hate it and you get rid of it. You should, like, try and farm some of it and then work it and keep it and then, like, craft the shit out of it. I you know what I mean? Because if eight years. And you got a half hour, 45, you should have more. Yeah. And, take yeah. A, and, make I, and make I'll say that negative because when you came up, I was like, after 30 seconds, I'm like, I want to hear this dude do five, 10 minutes because you have a thing. You know what I mean? Thanks. Yep. So I would just work just, you know. You I would love to see a longer set just because uh, do you have ups and downs or do you just kind of like the whole time? <laughs> or, I mean, yeah. No, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like a walking uh, ambient pill. I can, you know. Uh, right. Well, I, that's why it's uh, so weird. Hey, pay minute. Minute. What's up, son? You know? <laughs> yeah, ben, yeah. here's what you do. You take some of your ideas, and the ones that you don't like doing for stand-up, you just make a fun little short YouTube video, and then lic uh, don't license. You don't have to pay for any of the fucking music and all that shit. And then when it's your job to flag that, just let it go through. Yeah. Mm. Let it just keep getting tens of millions and millions and millions <laughs> of hits. And you could be a fucking YouTube guy, and you yeah. have your back door where you're the one that gets to jack everything. <laughs> got it? Yeah, got it. There he goes, Ben Palmer, everybody. Good luck, Ben A. Thank Fun you, times buddy. meeting Ben Palmer, Northeast Ohio, bitches. Me, him, LeBron James, Ed O'Neill. <laughs> ben Palmer's on Twitter at Ben Launchpad. All one word. Ooh, look at that. Launchpad. Launch space, man. I got my launchpad. Dude, that's going to be. Oh, Launchpad. Wow, there you go. It's his work Twitter. So wait, what does that mean? People... <coughs> oh, all right, sorry. Why'd you put it on Don't put your name on the paper. Don't put your name on anything that you don't want people to know. 
<laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your, let's meet Dan Ramos, everybody. Dan A. Here he comes. Come on, one more time for Dan Ramos, everyone. Here he is. He made it. Hello? Okay. Um, I'm in love, guys. Carla, give it up for Carla. She's not here. She's not here, so it's good. Can't watch me fail. Um, she's not my first love, though. Uh, first love was Wendy. I met her in the third grade. You know, at the time, I didn't know how to flirt with her. I look at her in class like this. Like, she get all wet, you know, because of the tears of joy running down her cheek. Right? You're in class, you know, and then in recess, we have these tickle fights. <laughs> stop it. That would be me saying stop it, not her. And then she passed me these little love notes, you know. Tickle my fat. What? Oh, I like you. What? I like you too, you know, and after the 30th one, I'm, my heart just told me to do the right thing. So I called her up to my desk, you know, go, psst, get over here. She comes running in, you know. I went down on one knee, I took her hand, I looked into her eyes, and I said, Wendy, can you please stop passing around these notes? I'm trying to teach a class here. You're being very distressed. Stop filming! Dan Ramos, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck yeah, Dan. How's yeah, guy? This is your first time on the show. How's yeah? My heart is just thumping. Is it? Uh, you, you I'm there laughing at the first guy. I'm like, he's got it bad. How and many like, times have you done stand-up comedy? Uh, here? This stage? Anywhere. Or ever. Uh, I'm from Montreal. Moved here like eight months ago. I'm going to say about like seven years. If you had to, so you've been doing stand-up seven years? Yeah. Holy well, I mean like, shit. but hosted mostly like high school shit, but... You don't call that stand up because it's. What do you mean, host in high school shit? <laughs> what like, is like, going like, You know, like, variety. Get the class! <laughs> high school shit? How's everybody How doing old today? Are you? Come on, please! No, like, uh, like variety shows, uh, you know, but. Were you in. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, sh- Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Dan, what's really going on? How old are you? 33. 33? And, yeah. and you host mainly high school things? Oh, no, no, but like, when, when, I, <laughs> when I first started. Oh, when you first started? When I first started. <laughs> oh, yeah, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> So you were 26. 26 from, yeah. From still weird. Still weird, yeah. If you had to guess how much of material, like if you had to put out your longest possible special oh, right now, I don't how long even would that know. be if you had to guess? I 10 minutes? Know. 4 minutes? 20, 30, 50? A 50? good tight, like, ha, 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 15 minutes, like, laugh per minute. You know, Is ha, ha, ha sec. good? Ha, ha is good. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> but it's weird because like I can't I thought of like putting out an album like but, but like, how do you um how do you how do you put up how do you what album? you know make a what comedy album what nationality are you Filipino okay gross <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> drum roll guys Jeremiah it's the first <laughs> Filipino Jeremiah from Kansas has ever seen <laughs> Really yuckied out about that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, what's in the backpack? Like, is that a part of your? Oh, persona? this is my. Uh, sorry, your poster fell down. Thank Tony. you. Yeah. Um, jokes. I got a uh, couple of books. Uh, some pantyhose. What? The fuck just happened? Hold on a second. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So Dan. Yeah. What do you do for work? <sighs> well, I used to. Uh, before moving here, I, I lived in New York. Worked for Marlo Thomas. You guys know her? Nope. She was like Danny Thomas's daughter. Who? She was. Dan Thomas? Thomas? Now Danny she's Thomas. not anymore? No, she still is, yeah. <laughs> Dave Thomas? Danny Thomas. Who's Danny Thomas? Someone else Nobody we don't knows know. any of the no? people. <laughs> Nobody knows Danny <laughs> Thomas? Not da- you know, Danny Thomas. Dude's cr- no? He's like this big time old Hollywood dude. Who? Marlo was uh, that girl. Which girl? Does anybody, Marlo Thomas? This is sort of like brilliant. Whatever you're doing right now, where like you're saying things like we should totally know what they are. <laughs> Were you an assistant, like a personal? No, assistant? I was a uh, an actual video producer. I uh, okay, I like <laughs> whoa, <laughs> shit what? just snook, took another turn. It's scared. It seems. Yeah, yeah. I would like color, something happened. I would like color correct her neck and her entire like. I was a col- editor, color corrector guy. So. Oh, there you Danny go. Danny Thomas, the picture is black and white, dude. This guy's old as fuck. This guy? Yeah, that's the guy, yeah. His daughter's mom. She's 100 Thomas. then. 
Wait, look. The makeup, she's 32. Children, Marlo Thomas. So I got laid oh, off last December. In the six and then I was like, the you know what? Let's move down to L.A. They gave me a pretty good package. And then... As whoa, as whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. She, she married Phil, Phil Donahue. Donahue. Hell's yeah. There we Wait. go. Her house, Phil guys. Donahue. Donahue. Wait a second. Of all the names you named, right. you didn't mention fucking Donahue? Saying. I wanted to keep it a surprise, Tony. Prime not time, a surprise. No, no. No, you weren't sitting on Donahue. Or else you would have said Donahue when everything was going awkward a minute and a half ago. Donahue. <laughs> wanted it to be a surprise. I like, I like making things terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and then dropping the good stuff later. So wait a minute. Was that were you hoping that was gonna be your thing? Like you went from the high school hosting and you're like, yo, Phil Donahue's the dog. Well, I've always wanted to get into stand up and then I realized like, you know, there's money in video production and I love like film <laughs> sketches and whatnot. <laughs> and, then, uh, <laughs> <the music. laughs> and you know, uh after moving from Montreal to Toronto. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Canada was like okay. All right, fuck and it. What's like, Donahue fuck. like? He's cool. He offered really? me juice. Juice? Yeah, he was working out with his trainer, and he came down the stairs all sweaty. Hey, man, want some juice? Yeah. Like that. Exactly. What'd you say? Yes. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> I like the, he's treated it yes, like it was Phil, Superman yes. or something. And then he uh, pointed yes. it... Uh, yeah. He pointed I wish it, it was like bridge. steroids instead of actual juice. What kind of like, juice dude, was, he was it? was yoked. It was like Perrier flavored fruity stuff. Perrier what? flavored juice? Sound <laughs> what kind of what kind of fruit do you need to buy in which Perrier Regressive, comes out man. the other end? It was nice, it was nice peach. The old carbonated yeah. pumpkin juice. All right. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Dan, what else in life is going on? Uh, you know, just like What's the best show you've ever had in your life? Uh, How many ha ha? This was <laughs> about like. <laughs> 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 I'll say this one. This is being filmed, right? This is the best one? Yeah, play the camera. Yeah, right? I would say this one. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, check out. Is this camera two? Check out dan ramoscom No, no, don't Got really do that. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Dan, stop doing what you're doing. I w- okay, uh, craziest one. I went in. Do you know Andy Dick? Andy Dick has that show on Never Sunset. Heard of yeah. <laughs> Sky Mother. So I go in and I say hi to Andy and Russell Peters was there too. Uh-huh. Um, and then I'm living with his friend who's from Toronto. Long story short, I said, hey, Russell, I'm Dan. He's like, I remember you. He's like, you want to go on? I'm like on stage? I'm like, yeah. Oh, he's so nice. And then he goes, uh, <laughs> and I'm there he's with my girlfriend. He's so fucking nice. It's um, Russell Peters is the nicest guy in He was comedy. hosting. He was hosting. This is proof right here. <laughs> if you ever need one piece of physical evidence... Of the and he knows the, how Canadian nice of a guy. Yeah. So then he goes. Oh, he knew. I mean, that was the yeah, that, that was, was the permission was slip too, was yeah. your Canadian uh, passport. And then he goes, uh, "Do you want to do uh, 10? I was like, oh, "Okay, shit. fine." I forced my girlfriend to go up to the front. Did you do the any, back. Did you do any of the sixty seconds that you did tonight in that ten minutes? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. No, yeah, ed- I ended off with a really good one. It was uh, an impression What's of that me. about. It's an impression. I don't want to hear it. No? What's it about? Just give me the premise. Uh, so we all have fears. Did you say it's an impression? It's an impression of, of uh, me shoving my head into an anus. Okay. What is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a West Hollywood crowd. Was and it? Yeah, it was the, it it was was at the improv. The enjoy- oh, no. It was at the uh, La Brea one on Sunset. Adults only bar. Uh, I don't know. It's okay. Uh. You sort of remind me of like an Asian Lieutenant Dan. I never tell you that before. I'll take that. I, I do love. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm not gonna lie. God, I appreciate oh, that, he's man. Got the hat. I actually watched him in uh, the feature film last night, uh, Surf Ninjas. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Any parting words for Dan, guys? Tate, if you were gonna kill Dan, how would you Fuck do it? Quickly, <laughs> quickly, <laughs> quickly. <laughs> Oh shit! Holy I believe shit. you. I believe you. That was the best. I believe you, Tate. Jay, if you were gonna kill Dan, how would you do it? I don't fuck. I mean, I would go slow, man, because I bet I bet he, I'd get fucking tons of ha-has out of him. <laughs> strangle. I like to strangle. Sort of laughing though, and then crying. There you go, Dan, with some more bombing. Right as he had a chance to go out like a hero. Dan, what's the coolest thing you've ever done in your entire life, other than that Russell Peters thing? Like, you I would say this every time. All right, I, that's, no, I'm not you're out of control. control. Yeah, not. <laughs> you're out of control. <laughs> I'll say this every single week I come here. I'm like, how the fuck do comedians come up here and just take it? You know, 
And I was yeah. like, how's yeah. Dan, what is your love life like? I think Brian might be on this. Uh, it's good. Uh, her real name is Carla. She's a real girl. From Montreal as well, but she lives here now. Real girl, oh like a real doll? Wait. <laughs> a you plastic said, doll. You said you have, you have a girlfriend named Carla. She's a real girl? Yeah. She's a real girl. Did you have some numbers <laughs> with some fake girls before? So you have to have the... How, uh, on a scale from one to ten, how big is her dick? Okay. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. She's a real girl. How long have you guys been together? Uh, known her for ten years. Known her been for ten? Been together for like seven months. Fuck yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Only took you. How long did you want to bang her uh, in that ten years? <laughs> I'm sorry. How many times did, did you want to bang her like at the second Oh, I couldn't. Right? She was yeah. like my friend's girlfriend, you know, so you don't. Ooh. Yeah, forbidden love, son. You don't do that. Hey, hey you Tony. Up, you ended up doing it. Yeah. I don't mean to be a dick, but I think this is a lost cause. I think we should move on. There That's you go. Bet, Jeremiah yeah. calling it. Dan Ramos is gone. I tried to get rid of him earlier, and then I felt bad for Good saying luck, that he bombed as I was, gave him a shot. Still just trying to help people. Sometimes... Sometimes even Jeremiah, Mr. Nice Guy, has to throw in the towel for everybody. I was boiling with rage. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that. Why didn't you say it when he was up there? I guess you did. I thought you were going to get him off like three times yeah, before Yeah, I know, that. I know, I know. We're getting through it. I pulled another name out of the bucket. This looks like another new name. That's always fun. Put your hands together for Dietrich Shelton. Dietrich? Dietrich? Here we go. Dietrich Shelton, ladies and gentlemen. I usually, uh, when I do get a chance to get with girls, I date Caucasian ladies. Um, <laughs> a matter of fact, I was, I was having the sex with this Caucasian lady, and <laughs> she whispers in my ear, can I say the N-word? <laughs> Okay, let me explain. Um, I hadn't had the sex in a while, so I wasn't going to ruin it by saying no. Other black people get mad at me, and I have to let them know, look, letting some white bitch call me nigger, not the worst thing anybody's ever done for pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought to myself, maybe this will be sexy. Yeah, my mind went there, <laughs> and then I heard it out loud. What followed was the most angry militant finish in history. Not only did I come, I overcame. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Dietrich, am I saying that right? Yes, you are saying it correctly. Dietrich, you are awesome, man. I Strunk try, it works out from time <laughs> to time. Assassin. Where are you from? Phoenix, Arizona. How long have you been on stand-up? Uh, nine years. That is fucking great. <gasps> One more time for Dietrich, everybody. Showing us all how it's done. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> That's cool, man. <laughs> Jeremiah, what's going on over there? Why are you giggling like that? What's going on? <laughs> man, this is one creepy black dude. I'll tell you that one. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What's creepy? What do you mean? I what do you mean, what was creepy? <laughs> Him leaning into, and then a white girl. <laughs> Caucasian, hey, said Caucasian girl. man. <laughs> a Caucasian girl. There you I go. loved it. He's got some fucking I loved swagger. it. No, there's like some pizzazz there. I was drawn in immediately. I started laughing as soon as he started talking. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> Real upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like your style. Dietrich, that's fun. Nine years of stand-up. How long have you, how long have you, how long have you always been in Arizona? You still live there? Uh, born and raised. I moved here in February. Huh. I've seen you around a couple times. Is uh, do you do the character the whole time? The what? Do, would you call? It, do you think you're doing a character, or is that? Oh no, this what I'm doing now is that's a character. You? That's you. Cool. That's the, a the character. The stage, the stage is what I actually am. Gotcha. Like I said, <laughs> creepy black dude. <laughs> 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 oh, the stage. That's that is the real me. I like it. Who I you are it. talking to right now is actually the character. <laughs> It's been a couple times where I've tried to figure out everything that's going on so hard that I think, like, I just end up blanking out and then come back, and, and then it's, I try to figure out what's going on sometimes. So what you were doing during the 60 seconds was the character, this is who you really are. Is that what you meant? No. Yes, um, yes and no. 
You mean the whole Ruby. thing is yeah. <laughs> All of it. Um, <laughs> Red Man, you stupid, well, uh, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I accidentally came upon this by trying to be myself, and then it over it, it blends uh, real life and stage. So did you work in like uh you like do Sometimes like the canvas becomes the painter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jeremiah. What just happened? You just became him. Unbelievable. What else are you into other than stand up? What else do you like to do or like what are your like hobbies and stuff? Uh well, um I'm a lifelong fan of professional wrestling. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah we oh. all are here. Yeah. Bunch of us here. I do a pro wrestling podcast now. Thank you. Yes. I'm very excited about it. Uh, favorite pro wrestler of all time? I have never cheered against Hulk Hogan. Wow. You're still pro Hulk Hogan? <laughs> I have... I have. From never... everything I know about you, it seems like you like being called the N-word. How, how how is Hogan still your number one? He fell off on he fell off on all the white people's lists he, when he did that shit. Well, I I don't know what happens when he even to this date if he starts hulking up, it's like oh my god he's about to do something. You know, it, it brings me back to a, a simpler time, a purer time. A purer time. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're like 145 years old he is, man. and you've always looked that way? Who raised you? Who raised you? Uh, my mother. Your mom? Just your mom? Uh, yeah, my mom and like a stepdad. Like a st- like you're not sure if he was. Well, he came in late. Well, they probably. were never married, and he came late. Gotcha. Yeah. Came late. You came. Um, okay. I I overcame. Overcame. Yeah. Thank you, Tate. How long have you been out of Phoenix? Uh, it's since February, so about. So nine this months. is a new joke because you can't do a joke like that in Arizona, isn't that true? Uh, no, I absolutely <laughs> can't do a joke like that in Arizona. I just uh, thought they don't even fuck with Martin Luther King Day there. Oh no, it, it's plenty racist. Uh, that, that's why. <laughs> that's why the that's nigger thing works. Not the, the nigger thing. That's why it works. He plays the other side of the coin. So that's if you I were banging it. Hulk Hogan, would that be okay if he said the N word? It seems what's, like what's it's already okay if he calls him the N word. <laughs> he already did. He said the N word. Hulk Hogan said the N word multiple times. Multiple times during <laughs> sex. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! You settle down over there. Dietrich. So that's interesting. Did you do like musical theater growing up? No, I did. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> that's a really good question. Yeah. That is a good question. Yeah. I don't know no, why you guys I, reacted that I, way. I have no rhythm, so I actually did like um, theater though. Right. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> that's what I really meant. <laughs> now looking back on it, but that makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, I was accidentally Dude. funny there in real life. Jeremiah is blacker than you. I, I've gotten that, but that cop that pulled me over for no reason would disagree. Right. I like your totally. Style. No, you know Wow, like way you? to bring down the moment, Diedrich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have to bring you down to pick you up. I yeah, I that. like it. Oh, hello. You're a stone cold assassin, man. I like your style. One you, must man. be brought in down before one is brought in up. <laughs> He's filled with just killer quotes. Y- you've had some bomb ass tearaway calendars in your day. The bucket Deidre. of water does not fill itself until it reaches the bottom of the well. <laughs> Anything else cool, Dietrich? Any other cool hobbies? Comedy, pro wrestling? Uh, well, I used to uh, teach kids how to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Y- y- play Yo-Yo? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Like. I was a demo team member, so what I would do is actually uh, teach kids how to play the game. Of what? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh? It's based on an animation. It's like oh wow, Pokemon, but even worse. <laughs> oh, Wow, that's some cool hipster I'm shit there. I'm disappointed that you know that. I'm, th- I'm. Oh. oh, Jeremiah just lost the connection in show business. <laughs> that happens that quick. Wow, Tate, you really. <laughs> so I, I'm, I think we're starting to figure out. Like you're like some you're you're like a nerd with tons of swagger is what I'm figuring out about you, right? Tons? You're a pretty nerdy dude, like no, your things you know what, that you're really into. Nerdy. Not pretty, extremely, oh my extremely god. Extremely nerdy. Yeah. But on I stage, the first 60 seconds we saw of you was like rock and roll. It was like, you know, like 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 a chubbier version of every cool 
black comic that, wow, I don't know why Chewbacca just came in there. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh, my God. Uh, I, you know what I think it is? I just think he owns who he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not trying to be anybody else. You're like, you hey, this swagger. is who I am. And you don't give a fuck. So many times we try to be someone we're not. And that's, what I, I, that's kind of what I dig about you. I yeah. know Jeremiah's not for it. He's looking to change the world in a negative way. I and like I just you. think it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. You remind me of, like, Chris Rocky Road. <laughs> is that funny? No? Stupid? No. It's <laughs> oh, thank you, Chewy. Thank you, Chewy. All right, Dietrich. Well, it was nice meeting you, man. Thank you, sir. Fun times. Have a great night. There he goes. Dietrich Shelton. D. Shelton comedy, all one word. We're having fun. Another day at the office, right? Another fun little fucking Monday. Nothing can ever go wrong, right? I like Mondays. It's my favorite day of the week. You You guys having fun? Yeah. Woo! Well, well, well. Every once in a while, I reach a name out of the bucket, and it's a goddamn motherfucking legend. You should all be very excited. Someone we love, someone we've seen a few times before and instantly stole our hearts. This is one of the few guests that when I pull this name out of the random bucket, I know for a fact that for the next few minutes, we're about to have a shit ton of fun, and absolutely nothing can fuck that up. And sometimes that's hard to say that on a show that's completely improvised and anything can happen. But shit's about to get turned up. Because I give to you one of our favorites. Aphrodite, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aphrodite, everybody, come on. Hey. I, I just want to say one thing right now, but not none of y'all white people call me no motherfucking nigga. I whip all y'all ass up in this bad boy, okay? I'm from St. Louis. We don't play that shit, okay? You know, I, I've been dating this guy, and he just not laid on me that he's supposed to be a damn minister. What the hell is he doing dating me? Because I ain't about to convert to shit, okay? Unless it's smoking some motherfucking weed, some good motherfucking weed on top of that, okay? I'm like... Hey, y'all, church people not supposed to have no sex. He go, yeah. I said, well, what the hell did we just do? You licking and sticking it? I mean, come, what the hell? You know what? What is wrong with people? Why would you join a church and know damn well your dick ain't going to cooperate with that shit? You know damn well your dick will say, yo, man, what you doing? What you doing? What the fuck you talking about? We ain't doing nothing. Shit. I got to get some, and you're going to be right with your dick. Like, you can separate your dick from yourself, okay? You know that don't make no damn sense. People need to get that shit up, you know? I mean, it just don't make no sense. Aphrodite. I love y'all. Aphrodite, everybody. She's here, the one and the only, the greatest person in the world. We too. know her. We love her. She's crazy as fuck. The 60 seconds are out of the way. Certified. So here we are. Aphrodite, <laughs> let's do this shit. That's right, baby. I'm excited to see you again. How's life? Life is good. Let's, I'm really excited. I'm getting ready to do a New Year's Eve show. Did you really hook? Wait, what about a New Year's Eve show? I'm singing a New Year's Eve show in Grand Park, downtown, 70,000 What are you going to sing? Damn. Oh, yeah. I'm singing with a group Catch called downtown, Jungle Fire. New Year's Eve. I'm yeah. going to be there, too, with uh, Joe Rogan and uh, Joey Diaz and me doing a big New Year's show at a theater downtown. Oh, totally cool. much better part of downtown than what you're going to be in. Oh, yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, okay. two totally different parts of downtown <laughs> completely. <laughs> No, I'm well, I hope y'all smoking weed in y'all motherfucking port. I mean, you know. Aphrodite. <laughs> yes, we're always smoking weed. You know Hell us. yeah, Nothing if you ain't trouble. smoking weed, you ain't shit. I mean, go ahead. <laughs> if you ain't smoking weed, you, you ain't, ain't shit. shit. Especially in Cali, where it's you, legal. You hear that, kids? Yeah. 12 and under? <laughs> you hear that? Don't listen to your parents. They ain't shit. I mean, you know. Your parents ain't shit. <laughs> no one's shit. <laughs> Remember that one, too. That goes for everybody. <laughs> Aphrodite. So, is this true? You really hooked up with the minister? Yeah, he just laid it on me after like two years, you know, he's talking all this shit about, you know, he trying to get right with God and all that. I'm like, well, I ain't trying to get right with God. I don't know what the hell. Wait, with you who? Know? God. Uh, you know? Yeah, wait. <laughs> what? <laughs> did, you, did you just step up a couple? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you, singing? You, know, you know, my people, we confused. You know, y'all know after slavery, we all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? 
We don't know shit. We don't know worship the white Jesus or the black Jesus or the Buddha or the motherfucking Ali. We don't know what the fuck to worship. You know? I, sometimes I have no idea what you're saying, but it all, still all makes perfect sense and works out. It's unbelievable. I mean, how can you go without sex? I don't understand that. Tony, how what many? Do you mean? What do you, wait, wait, they don't, clearly. They were banging you for two years. That's right. Yeah, wait, what makes you think that you think he's going to stop hooking up with you? Well, you know, I was going to keep a backup like a battery, you understand what I'm saying? So they're going to run out in the motherfucking world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a man on the side hell sometimes? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Who's that? What does he do for work? Oh, I don't know, but he's about to work on me. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit. I got a job for him! I got a job for him! Wow. What's your favorite thing to do, like, when you're really hooking up with someone? Like, what's some of your favorite parts of the bedroom? <laughs> what's some of the favorite parts? Yeah. What, the bed, the floor, the window, the door? <laughs> wow. The window? <laughs> the window. <laughs> that seems like a very like, dangerous ah, situation wild, for you. You know what I'm saying? I would not put you up against the window, Aphrodite. That's <laughs> one thing. <laughs> what? You scared my no ass matter, get in the way no or something? No matter how drunk I got. Even if I got drunk enough to <laughs> fuck Aphrodite, I would not. I would say, Afro, get away from that window. Can I call Don't you Afro? I'm wasted. Then I go to the door. <laughs> yeah. Get up in this ass, you get broken glass. Come on, Aphrodite, <laughs> let's get out of here. It's, <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of hard to get my ass out the window, you know. It's, I get stuck right away, you know. They don't make windows for asses rope. like mine, you know. Car crash they make the them little bit ass windows. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, how many uh, times has Aphrodite been on the show? Do you think? I think probably like five, six, seven. No, yeah. maybe four. 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 Ah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we, we have that connection. You, right? you no. guys got to put a picture up front not to let me in because I'm coming. Wait, what? I said you got to put a picture out front and not to let me in because I'm going to keep coming. A picture out you front? You know, America's most unwanted. They're not even looking for me. We you know love you, Aphrodite. I don't know why you I would love you say guys. that. You're one of our favorite people. I love you what guys. What do you do when you're not like coming here? What do you do like for fun, like other nights? Well, story. actually, I right. like to go yeah. and do karaoke sometimes. I have a great time. What are, what are some of your go-to karaoke songs? I go up on Hollywood Boulevard to a place called the Katina, and it's no, the, hot. the songs, the songs. What the kind of, of songs? Yeah. I sing things like by Deborah Cox, Nobody's Supposed to Be Here. Um, I oh, love shit. doing her stuff. I do uh, Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder, but I kind of take it to church, you know. A lot of Blink-182. Isn't she lovely? Life and love are the same. You know? Wow. You seem... Shit. <laughs> Aphrodite seems like she has a seven-minute-long version of the national yes. anthem. Yes. Yeah, I, I put some mini Ripperton notes in that shit, though. I no idea. I mean, you, if yeah. you said it four more times, I still wouldn't know no, for like sure. The I'm so many words of the off. free. Ah! Wow. And the home <laughs> of the You definitely brave. don't have windows. Yes. You just found out. Yes. I break all of them. All windows. plastic cups at Aphrodite's yes. house. That fucking note That's is right. shattering. Only thing hard for me to do is run because my ass keep bringing me back. I try to run forward, my ass keep bringing me back like that. Is that how that works? I don't know how. If I try to run forward, my ass will bring me back. Like, where does the poop come out of on that fucking thing? <laughs> like, that thing is unbelievable. Like, does it's it come poop? out of, like, the side? Does it just, like, shoot about? out? I don't know how butts like that work. I have a no. little rinky-dinky. Like, I just have, like, two little flaps of skin back no. there. You know what I mean? You the have, like, is that, that thing real. is a geographical anomaly. That yeah, is, that's it right, looks that's like right. someone made it with a Can fucking see over there? protractor. It's like, what is that? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Is that, does, I feel like Brian didn't even hit that. I feel like that music just plays when it gets that close to you. Like, no, it's this just is real. Thing. This is real 100% USD motherfucking booty, okay? USD. USD. <laughs> Great A motherfucking ghetto booty, okay? USD, STD. That's right. All them That's beef, right. Man. This is what cornbread and hog laws and chitlins will do for the ass, not that damn I, I don't know what you heard. I heard cornbread, homos, and chitlins. No! Like, she's literally no, eating that. homosexuals. Cornbread, homos, and chitlins. That's what yeah, gets your yeah. booty like this. You got to have some grease in your life. Put some grease in your life, you know what I'm What's saying? What's the craziest thing you've ever done with your butt? Oh, you saw me when I came on and I did the exercise. I told them my fat people exercise. You know, they keep on talking shit about fat people don't work out. Well, I work out, and this is one of my main exercises. And the one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. What the fuck is that? That's working out. 
That's how do you know out. how to do that? That's called isolated ass movement. That's all muscle back there, that's isn't right. it? That's right. That's right. Can't do what? that with that's, that fake shit. That's like all muscle. That's right. You're like the real. You're like the real black China. The real black like booty, <laughs> not the booty, but China. the booty. <laughs> and these real too. These my mothers up here. Hey, bless mom. Aphrodite, you ever you ever have to beat anybody up? When's the last time you had oh, to slap no. someone across the I face? I told you I don't fight bitches. When's the last time you had to slap someone across oh, the way, face? Oh, way, way back in grade school. Way back. I had a right hook a bitch. I feel like <laughs> Aphrodite. <laughs> I feel like Aphrodite is also like 135 years old, much like our uh, much like Dietrich. That's right. That, that, that white woman wanted Aphrodite from the Greek. She tried to steal my shit, man. Again, again, that's another one of those parts where I have See, no idea what you just said. No, it is. White people be stealing Tried black people's shit. Y'all know how it is. It's the thing my brain does where it bounces the words back and forth, goes through a whole filter, and just came back again. Just nothing. See, Could that's not. what happens when my ass hits the stage. You ever use Siri before? Like, she must be like, you must be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I, I, I'm having chest pains. <laughs> you, will, you will need to. <laughs> what? Speech classes here on this street. Make right. <laughs> They don't have a ghetto woman on that GSP thing, you know, for the traffic. Yeah, whatever you call it. <laughs> on the GSP. <laughs> on the George St. Pierre. Uh, you know, say, that. slow down, motherfucker. I told you. That's turn. sort of funny if GSP had his own GPS. <laughs> Make left or I kick in the head. It should be a ghetto language. It should be a ghetto language. People would be driving so ghetto stupid. Ghetto one. What, if you were the lady for you that. You know, like, like if you're driving down the street. What you, would you say? Go left at the turn. Go left. See if it was ghetto. Motherfucker, turn left. <laughs> Did I tell your stupid motherfucking ass to turn left? Why you go to the right, motherfucker? So <laughs> that's sort of good. You should turn that into a bit. Yeah. You should say ghetto that on, directions. Yeah, you should say that. You know, if the GPS was a black woman, it would get you to do stuff. Yeah. yeah. Or if it was a game, you would, know, be a little more intense. I mean, with you the know, black lady. Turn at the corner, homie. Somebody waiting for you, homie. Oh shit! <laughs> Look out! It's a little. Like it's a little gangster. Shows the future yeah. now. Yeah, we got a score to settle with your homie. Come on in with your boys. Yeah, yeah. Put your toys on the table, you know? Put your toys on the table? Yeah. Put your toys on the table. What did you say? What's some sex shit? Okay. My God, Aphrodite. What's, the, what's the craziest <laughs> sexual encounter you've ever yeah, had? Yeah, great question. The craziest? <laughs> oh, I guess I... And is uh, that lipstick you got on your teeth? No. Yeah, no, it's yes. blood. I, I no. usually have freaky white guys lick it off for me. No, she always I told him that too. She I always have mirrors in my house. Lipstick on anyway, her teeth is one of her biggest trademarks. Yeah. She's I notorious. I have mirrors in my house. Well, you look fantastic. Oh, anyway, thank you. For 61, let's, not let's bad. Let's get into the sex shit. Okay, the sex shit. Oh, probably uh, insertion of chocolate bar, I should say. Chocolate until it melted? Oh, yes. Good. Girl. Are you being serious? Oh, no, I'm half serious and serious. I was curious when it happened. What actually happened, Aphrodite? Did you put a chocolate bar inside of you? No, I didn't put it inside. Who did? I am not telling anything. My mom would love this. I'm not telling you. Your anything. mom listens to DeathSquad.tv? No. My mother is a born-again church lady. <laughs> She's not going to find out. Oh, you never know. My mother is nosy. She worked for the FBI, not the I, but the FB. Okay. Can you just tell us what, what? kind of... What ca- <laughs> <laughs> Can you just tell us what kind of candy bar it was? Facebook, yeah, I guess. Was it I don't know what kind Snickers? of bar it was. Was it a Mars? But the guy went crazy. He had a great time eating it. Was Where? it a, was it a Twix? What did it feel like? I don't know. It Where was great because he was into Butter it. Butterfinger, wasn't it? I mean, Butterfinger? if you like chocolate, and I'm chocolate, hi. Was it a payday? I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> it I didn't even know he was going to do it. Ribbed for your pleasure? <laughs> Peanut and crust. He just had chocolate all over his lips. I was like, damn, Peanuts babe. on the outside on paydays, if you don't know. <laughs> is it a baby Ruth? I don't know. I didn't get to see the brand. <laughs> you didn't see the wrapper? I just saw the chocolate there, on There wasn't mouth. that, like, awkward wrapper staring at you the next morning? Like, <laughs> oh, that's what it was. No, no. It was a fucking, uh... <laughs> it was yeah. great, though. That's only time, though. I don't get too wild. I, I think my body does me kind of a little bit of a disservice because people think I'm wild and un- oh, that, That's why they think you're wild? Yeah. That's I'm just a little wild, a little out of control, not out of control. You know so I'm if saying? a guy, all right, Aphrodite, yeah, settle down, settle back. <laughs> Aphrodite. Are you really um, 61? I'm 61. Wow, you Good are. are you. Uh, one more time for Aphrodite, everybody. Oh, I'm still you. not done with you, though. I'm going to hold on to you for a little you. bit longer here. Wait, like, what was your career What was your career like in your 30s and 40s? What were you doing? I've been a singer all my life. Oh, okay. I've been blessed. To, I, I just fell in love with music. My family is full of music. You know, musicians, singers, and stuff. So, 
naturally came to me, and I just never knew I'd come to California from St. Louis and so go to the world. He puts the candy bar inside of you. Uh, well, damn! Then, so then what does he do? Does he eat it? I'm going to have to charge your ass. You keep asking all these questions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 75 cents so a minute if you want to continue. Can not tell you everything for free? You, you know seem saying? like you'd be great at phone sex. Phone sex. It's funny you said that. I did that a long time ago. I bet you did. Yeah, yeah. That was right in between. I was good at it. I got a dollar to hear the Y'all chocolate white boys story. Be too Aphrodite. Much. Yeah. Joel Jimenez. Tell the chocolate it. story. Oh, yeah, oh Joel Jimenez giving a dollar for the team Ooh, and a little booty yeah. shake. Yeah. You, you get that for free. That's my piggy bank right there. <laughs> it's definitely a, a pig, more like a piggy stank. I need some money. I need some money. <laughs> piggy stank? No? Okay. Oh, the I, I know what I can do. Up. I can get reparations from all the white people free. in the audience. Y'all feel bad about what happened to black people. Just put some money in y'all, you know, hands. All right. Hand no, no, no. Aphrodite, oh. you're begging for money now. Back no, this settle back again. It's settle back. Settle back. It's reparations. Naughty Aphrodite. Naughty Aphrodite. Damn. Um, so, Joel gave you a dollar. Can you give us a little bit more of the candy bar story? Oh, God. It's, okay. Hell no. Can we? Oh, he does not want that oh she's back. about to give it back. You better, oh, my you God. Keep it. She's digging for something. Y'all better collect some money. I ain't telling Please y'all give it business. back. Please give it back. I'm not giving shit back. <laughs> All right. If I give you another dollar, will you give him that dollar that's you in your underwear? If you give me $20. $20, $30, No, I'm going to give you a dollar, but you give him no, that dollar. No, no, I, I want him to. I want all that cash. No, I'll give you. Uh, see how white people is don't want to share the money. That's, that's Aphrodite, fucked up. you don't really have a that's choice. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. All right, hand me that dollar. I ain't fucking No, up. no. I'm going to retire. Don't get the shit. dollars mixed up. Hell yeah. I want Joel to get the butt dollar back, you. you fucking idiots. It's not it's about the dollar. money. It's the dollar. You guys are all morons. The now they're all shuffled up. Fuck it. See, you don't want to treat black people right. I'm not giving you any money, Aphrodite. You guys just ruined the whole fucking bit. Oh, <laughs> she knows which it one. It smelled good. <laughs> she smelled hey, it. Him out. It smelled good. My shit always smelled good. All right. That's right. I'll buy you a drink after the show. There she goes. Aphrodite, uh, everybody. Hey, I love it. Peace in this motherfucker. We gotta keep moving on. If it was up to me, I'd spend all fucking night with Aphrodite. Yeah. That might be fun one night. Right. Just, a, just a random like Wednesday night kill Tony and Aphrodite special. Yeah, thank you. Maybe we will do something fun in a couple weeks for like a New Year's Eve episode. Some type of like best of. You know? Maybe invite back some freaks. Tam Fam and some other people. I don't know why. I was getting physically ill from that candy bar story. <laughs> really? Yeah, like I love candy bars, but I just kept imagining like every kind of candy bar just like going inside <laughs> of Aphrodite. I'm like, can this yeah. stop? This is getting and, so disgusting. And you, know, and you know, she called it a candy bar, so it's really pretty much, you could go through the whole spectrum of candy because she'd probably call like sour apple like straw things, you know, like all those, so she'd probably just call it a candy bar. You know what I mean? It's all in the spectrum of candy bar to her. So you really have to picture all your favorite candies, like Boston baked beans and... Uh, Pop rocks. <laughs> Pop rocks just fucking fizzling over. It, it's probably, it probably <laughs> just licorice, and the guy just bit off both ends and just sucked out of it like a straw. All right. Can you mute your own mic? <laughs> Red Band hears something gross. He's like, oh, we're whipping dicks out? Let's do this. Here we go. (laughs) You don't challenge me. I got the sweetest thighs in the business. Oh, by the way, Tony, just as a reminder of your that interview, you literally said to her at one moment, "Where does the poop come out of that thing?" <laughs> I never got an answer to that. By the and way, and the Amy consideration for writing on a live podcast <laughs> goes to Tony Inchcliffe. <laughs> Words up the back. I mean, like if you sit, it seems like there would be a lot of extra wiping that goes on there. Am I right? Is there a lot of extra wiping that you have to do because of your no bigger way. butt cheeks? Like my butthole is pretty much like. It, it looks straight at that toilet water, just he- eye to eye. It seems like your butthole would have more stuff in between. It seems like it would just like get stuck sometimes in your butt cheeks. Does that happen? Okay, fine. I just had to ask. What? <laughs> you all pretend like you didn't want to know. Like I'm crossing the line, but you all wanted to fucking know if the poop hits the butt cheeks. Even Aphrodite. You think she really wipes that well? Come on, yes. people. 
I'm you kidding. Just get a wet towel and you put it on the ground and wipe it on the. You know. All right. Brian. What I'm trying to All say right. is, I have the number one butthole in the world. <laughs> I pretty the much the strongest, most confident butthole there is. All right. Direct poops to the toilet water every All single right. time. The golden pony. Yeah. It's Thank hanging you. down, looking Thank at you. the water. The water Even fears I- me every time I hover over it. <laughs> Looks eye to eye with the water. I like to think that I have a pretty good system. <laughs> I, like to think. I think I'm a pretty good bathroom goer. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Alex Arawa. Arawa? <laughs> So I was a football player in high school. Anyone else play football? My coach used to always tell me, Alex, play hard no matter what. Play hard. Which is very difficult because my football pants did a terrible job of hiding my erection. (laughs) 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 I remember in high school as well, I did a lot of essays, you know? Like like writing papers, not having sex with the gangsters, you know? (laughs) And... (laughs) And um, at one point, I used the term noisy women, and it ended up losing a point for being redundant. (laughs) 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 Uh. (laughs) 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 Nothing wrong with being called noisy. At least I don't think so. Anyway, that's all I got. Fuck yeah, Alex Arawa. Am I getting Am I I getting this? Am I? I mean. Ah, yeah, there you go, Jeremiah. The long sax intro there. Very good. Alex, am I getting this right? Are you a fucking tough gay guy? Is that what I'm noticing? <laughs> Is that what the jokes were all meant to be? Uh, no. You're gay, but you're like tough as fuck? Oh, sorry. Am I right? Uh, no. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> then, then I'm probably about to get beat up. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, like, every th- it sounded like, by the way, when I was listening to what I thought it was, I'm like, this fucking guy is brilliant. But now I'm, it's re- I'm picking up on, maybe I was just hearing something wrong, right? It was like, hey, Hearing I what did, you wanted I played, to do. I played, <laughs> I played football, but then all of a sudden, you know, it was weird because I'm, I had the huge erection that you could see in my football pants while I'm playing football what with my... It was actually mostly a play on words because my, my coach said play hard. And you know, getting an erection. You know, we get heart. it. Oh, <laughs> did you, you guys get that? Number number one, just off the bat, you have to put the microphone close to your mouth because oh. like I, none of us could hear that, you. That should actually be number two. Number two. One yeah. should be don't chew gum. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then yeah. two would be the microphone. But then your second joke was like, "Hey, something gangbanger," and then what am I gonna do? Fuck him. I mean, am I the really the only one that picked up on gay shit during that set? No, you guys gotta be fucking kidding me. Why does gay shit Tony. mean he's Maybe I am gay. gay. If I'm the only one, Tony, I thought the exact same thing. Oh, okay. The play hard went over my head. I just saw a boner in the pants, and I was like, right. "Where's this?" <laughs> and going I thought it was great. Thing? I'm like, "Oh, that's fucking odd. Aw- this seems this is hilarious. I've never seen like a fucking like like a tough." Like cholo esque, like fucking like gay guy, just like what's up? So these people are like, oh, and I'm just like, what's up? I'll fuck you, I'll fuck you in your fucking butt, man. Like I don't give a fuck. Like that would be the most hilarious. one of my favorite newest comedians. That would be, but it just turns out like I'm sort of con- completely confused about what you were talking about the entire time. You know what I like even better? That he's a straight dude that's doing a gay joke. Yeah, yeah. going I'm, for it. I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. Yeah, you no. Know, yeah, he'll, yeah. Su- he'll suck your dick to prove it. <laughs> 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 oh shit, Alex, that's fun, man. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, off and on, four years. Off and on. What do you do for work? I'm an over the road truck driver. Over the road? Yep. Right. Over. <laughs> <laughs> to grandmother's house we go. Um, <laughs> oh, what does over the road mean? Uh, do, is there any under the, uh, the road truck drivers that I don't know about? Uh, not that I know about. What's over the road? But I mean, like I, uh, I go across the country. Oh wow. That's fucking crazy, huh? Uh, <laughs> you, you piss in bottles and stuff like that, right? Occasionally. So, so tell us about the rest stop hookers. Like, like how great are they? How cheap are they? How dirty are they? Good like, questions. Yeah. My standards are pretty low, but not that low. I don't right. believe that. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're out there on the road all by yourself. You're, you're in the middle of fucking pants, Missouri. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you're lonely. Yeah. Right? You got that back cab that you can just like tuck in there and 
you know, if you kill her, you kill her. You just throw her back outside. <laughs> all day long, you look out your window while driving. You're getting turned on by all the little kids going like that through yeah. the window. You Jerking know what off I mean? there. You're just like, God, I'm getting horny. These kids with their dirty hand jobs. I can barely hide my boner right now through these trucker pants. <laughs> anyway. There, there's a lot of masturbating while driving, right? I mean, you, you have to do that, right? You have to, right? More, more than normal, yeah. What would that? Wow. Well, you have any idea what that might sound like, Brian? <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. It would be that, and then that. No. no. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> Anytime we try to produce anything, like just prepare something smart for a second, it all just hits the fan. What's, uh, the, what's the closest you come to falling asleep awesome. and having a horrible accident? The closest? Like, yeah. what's the longest stretch you've driven for where you shouldn't have been driving anymore? I say about 19, 20 hours. That seems horribly dangerous. It does. 19, 20 hours. Crazy. Do yeah. you still use CB radios, or is that out? Uh, we still use it, but not, like, normal. Now we just talk shit to each other. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. a snake in my boot. Creepiest Something conversation <laughs> you've ever had on one of those radios. You ever find out, out anything about another trucker in the area or something like that? Anything ever stand um, out to you? Personally, nothing really creepy, just extremely racist. Ooh. Yeah, so it's like Xbox Great. chat rooms, but like yeah. on, in semis. X, Xbox chat rooms for like creepy, chubby old people. Wow. What's the most racist thing? Uh, when you're, you're a little Mexican, right? Yes. So what's the most racist thing towards Mexicans that you've heard uh, said with people not realizing that you're a Mexican? Um, let's see here. Because all the other truckers, we know, we know that they're just like, Oh, yeah, we know you're not Mexican. You're just our gay white friend. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you're cool with us, Alex. You just got a little fucking suntan on you always, you know, from being out in the truck indoors. Uh, so what's the most... you ever hear them say anything racist about Mexicans on the roadway? Occasionally, yes. Like what? The, mo the, most, the most racist thing... Um, one, one guy wished that he could just stand at the border and just snipe us as we come across. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you, like, you're out there in the middle of fucking probably Arizona or something like yeah. that, right? And then that comes over the thing. And you're probably, I mean, what, how do you like, react to that? Like, what did your brain tell you? Did you say anything back? Like, yeah, yeah, fuck them. Oof, they're bad. Yeah, he just pretends he's white. He's right. Just like, he's got <laughs> rebel flags on his front. Yeah, like, one, yeah, like one, one guy was like, I, Trump don't, need, don't even need to build a wall. Just have a couple of us uh, out there with, like, sniper rifles. Problem solved. A lot cheaper. Like, that was a real quote. Wow. A lot <laughs> I mean, that guy does have a point. It would be way cheaper. <laughs> Is that you, Donald? Is that you? That, that was you, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sounds, um, sounds familiar. <laughs> Alex, so you, how long have you been driving trucks for? Uh, about a year and a half. Um, have you ever seen a load uh, quite as big as Aphrodite's ass? <laughs> if you had to hi hitch um, that thing onto a, uh, a truck, how would you do it? All right, how would I it. do it? Um, yeah. Doesn't sure. really matter. It's not really so answerable. So what's what's the main drug? Is it Adderall that everyone's doing? You know, to stay awake, or is it cocaine? Are they all uh, cokeheads? It's still meth. It's still meth. It's still wow. meth. Meth wow. is strong. It's still going, going baby. That wor it works. Why fuck with results? Yeah. yeah. Proud to be an American. <laughs> well, Hitler did it too. How are they so fat and on meth all the time? That is a damn good question. It's called like meth that. burger, baby. Yeah. Put a little <laughs> sprinkle of meth on a cheeseburger. Slide that down around the throat, dip it in something to get some ketchup. Come on, ready to go, ready to go, I'm done, woo! Little Walter White cake over here. <laughs> you ever save a, save a life or see anything like that where someone needs you and you came in and you saved a life out there? Uh, no. No? My, uh, dad, my dad has, though. He's a truck driver, too. Hey, have you seen the movie Frequency? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, there's like a CB radio, and he talks to his dad from the past. I was wondering if you've ever talked to your dad from the past. <laughs> Has that ever happened? Yeah, that's a good question. Probably when you were driving straight for 19, 20 hours yeah. all of a sudden. <laughs> son. Son, it's me. Is your dad very Mexican? What's the combo there? Are you totally Mexican? Totally. Wow. Totally Mexican. <laughs> yeah, awesome. exactly. That's why, for those of you. Like all of it. Wondering why I asked. It's because 100% that's what he sounds Mexi. like. <laughs> Mexi. Mexi. 
It's a Mexi blend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm soups Mexican. <laughs> Where were you born and raised? Uh, McFarland, California. Wow, where's McFarland? McFar, was that with the the track team? Yes. Oh, dude, what a movie! I cried. Did you cry? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I get to see the pa- as if I didn't know the fucking pace of this room earlier. Now I get it. What is you it? Didn't see McFarland, the Disney movie with Costner about the track team. Uh, the oh, cross country team. Cross country, yeah. whatever. Wow. <laughs> you saw a movie about cross country and you're like, man, it's I'm touching. gonna drive that shit. Fuck this running bullshit. I'm gonna <laughs> sit in a fucking car. Anyway, that's a pretty 20s. amazing town to be from. Yeah. Is no one gives a fuck here. Let's go back to being how about our homophobia about him being gay. <laughs> hey, remember yeah. when he sucked dicks? <laughs> he said that. Hey, that was a great line. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I brought it back up, man. <laughs> well, Alex, there you go. I mean, anything else? How long are you doing stand up again? Four years off and on? What does that mean? It means uh, when I went to college, I didn't do it at all. So for the, about the two and a half years... You went to college to drive a truck? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> I heard it coming. <laughs> no, I, went, I did go to college for two and a half years, but it didn't work out. So I left and became a truck driver. But during that time, I didn't do any stand-up at all. What do you mean it didn't work out? I just didn't want a degree. Did college oh. break up with you? <laughs> like, <laughs> it didn't work out. Let's just say it was... Uh, so you know, we were in a very... What's that fucking we had irreconcilable differences. So. <laughs> too late. What, what kind of hemorrhoids? He said he asked you? for it. Don't say too late, Tate. I'll <laughs> fight you right now. I don't freaking care. I don't, want that. I don't care how big you are. You want to fight right now, Tate? Oh my God, I'll grow a mustache so bigger funny. than yours. I'll it's punch you right in the dick hole. would if you could. Too late. That was my favorite. The shit that Tate gets to say that I haven't seen guests in three and a half years say to people, like, it's so awesome. The old rip, rip your head off effect. <laughs> that was the greatest thing ever. What, what kind of hemorrhoids are you working with? Are, you, awesome. are, like, are they like orange size, apple size, plum size? What was that question? What kind of hemorrhoids these guys? How do you know so much about hemorrhoids? Is that All true? truckers have like have hemorrhoids that stick out. They're called that? dicks. They because there's websites you can pay money. Why would them? you look at that? <laughs> <laughs> there's websites you could pay to see that. You can pay money. <laughs> to see that. Crying red band. Oh, red band is filthy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tr- truckerbubble.com? <laughs> Is it true? Do you have hemorrhoids? I do not have hemorrhoids. Really? How old are you again? Uh, 23. Oh, it's coming. How many guys do you know that <laughs> have like Sylvester Stallone uh, arm wrestling thing for over the top? I'm sorry? Like the Sylvester oh. Stallone arm wrestling thing for over the top? Do you guys all do that or no? No. There's you not a I secret. <laughs> You were earlier. You admitted to masturbating well, while driving a truck that could kill tens and tens of people at once. Um, let me ask you this: When you were masturbating in the truck that could kill many people at once, uh, were you masturbating using your imagination or using like a phone? My imagination. Oh, okay. You never, you just never tried to like do all, like all three things at once, just like balance it all out, like basically just like dick juggling or something like that. No, nothing. What, what's your favorite porn category? <laughs> Clean woman? <laughs> Def- <laughs> definitely. <laughs> clean, clean. Clean women. Clean, clean, nice women. What's your favorite porn category? Um, you can tell the truth here. What are you punching in your search? Yeah. Aphrodite? <laughs> uh, you might be onto something there, right? All this racist talk all over the CB all, the day, all day gets you turned on to some, some of it, right? I like your style. There's something really cool about you that I'm going to point out right now. That's that at certain parts, you sweat profusely, and then it dries up in like five <laughs> yeah. seconds. As soon as you get co- I've yeah. noticed it. I wasn't going to say anything, sweat but it just control. happened for the fourth time when you really started thinking about the porn. Right when I said you could just tell the truth, it's okay. It just fucking got so. Now it's really happening right now. <laughs> it just went. It just went a little more than it has so far, which is fucking awesome. It's okay, but it's something that's cool. Like maybe they, like you could talk about and shit because it's like some he's baller like, ass shit. Because like it also just dries back up if he's not. He's sweating like a humidifier. Anymore. Yeah, like <laughs> it sucks it right back in. He's like the Wolverine <laughs> of sweat. Like he starts to. <laughs> <laughs> Because now that you're giggling, it's probably going to... S- oh, no, it's oh, getting worse. It's it's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Just started bleeding from the top of his head. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> Alex, it's all right, man. It's a fucking crazy live show. Did you have fun? I did. Any questions for your 
hero, Tate Fletcher? <laughs> <laughs> um, how would you kill me? Good question. Cut with kindness, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You got Tate's oh. approval. Yeah. Alex like, Arawa. And like, so brave what you've done. Like, it's super brave, and I just I commend you for it. Oh, Just Thank being you. here. Yeah. There you go. And stay away nice from work, the fucking Tate. road, because that's terrifying. Absolutely. Jay Larson, anything else for Alex? No, man. Keep going. There you go. Don't quit. Alex Arawa. There he goes. Brian Redband. What do you think? What do we do here? Good or regular? Is Vanessa here? Yeah? All right, great. Put your hands together for, uh, we're going to go back to the bucket after this. We have a regular, uh, regulars that we have every week. They do yep. a new minute. A brand new minute every single yeah. week. This is really <laughs> awesome. Uh, Vanessa's actually, this is her second to last performance on the show. She's leaving us. This is a crazy special announcement, leaving us at the end of 2016. So we will be down a regular after over a year of doing, writing and performing a brand new minute every single week, one of the toughest gigs in all the comedy. This is her uh, second to last performance. So... <laughs> That was breaking news. <laughs> Normally that would happen first, and then you would get the news, but red ban on the ones and twos, everybody. Works out perfectly. Anyway, there you gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. When I make fun of me, it just hits random buttons then to bring it all back. Um, performing a brand new 60 Seconds, you know her, you love her. It's Vanessa Johnston, ladies and gentlemen. Here she is. <laughs> Oh, they're so small. Um, I just played the state lottery for the first time. Does anyone here play the lottery? Two people. Two people have hope. <laughs> cool. Um, I'd never played the lottery before, so when I went to the gas station to buy my ticket, I thought the lady at the cash register knew which ticket was going to win. So I tried to be like extra nicer. I was like, hey, um, I like your blue eyeshadow. She was like, this is an eyeshadow. My boyfriend beats me. I was like, oh, well, it looks great. Um, it's very even. He does a great job. Um, I didn't win. Do you ever wonder if a Make-A-Wish kid has wished to win the lottery? But the foundation's like, uh, what's a 12-year-old kid gonna do with $500 million? He's going to be dead by next week. <laughs> Wish denied. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Vanessa Johnson. I like yeah. that. I think the thing about going into the, on the eye thing, I think it's its own separate thing. I don't think you need any of that lottery stuff to, like, mix it all up. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, you ever try to give somebody a compliment and shit gets fucked up? I think that's that premise. You know, right. I was at a convenience store, told a lady I liked her eyeshadow. She's like, my boyfriend. You know, you got to be in like with that, with all that other friend stuff about the lottery. It just, it because that has nothing to do with the getting beat part. And then it being even is funny because you try to fix it. Mm -hmm. But by that point, it's still it's confusing. Yeah, because yeah. the lottery stuff throws it all off. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna write material about the lottery, and I wrote like 50 jokes, and I didn't think any of them were funny. I was yeah, just like, that's what going, going, going. Me and one of my best friends, Matt Edgar, talk about it once every few weeks about how we, how silly we used to be, thinking that we could sit down, and when we first started, very first started, we would sit down and go, all right, what what is there out there? There's dogs. So we would sit there and we would just try to write about dogs. Meanwhile, after we were done trying to write, we would crack each other up laughing about actual shit that actually is material, you know what I mean? Like, trying to pull something, squeeze something out of something that's not, you know, in your real life or existing or something like that, it's always very hard, mm -hmm. and it's a, sort of a big waste of time. But it does also build sort of a weird muscle so that when you right. do know what's funny, you know how to make it even funnier, like if that makes sense, like mm -hmm. as a premise. But if you wrote 50 jokes, you should try them all. I did, like, I mean, over the week. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, and some would, like, and then you found out. get pops. Like isn't, they it, get isn't it funny that you wrote 50 lottery <laughs> jokes and none of them paid off? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's, That's incredible, right? That was a great one. I mean, what are the odds of that? 
<laughs> on any of the jokes you wrote, did you uh, did you scratch it with a coin and there was a better joke underneath? I mean, you know. I hey, wouldn't change a thing. Fuck you guys. Hey, hey Vanessa, are you going to miss the show? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Where are you I, going? Um, what? Where are you going? Up oh, up after, no, I just, I, next week is my 60th minute, so I just wanted to take all the material I've done and polished it. Because there's only so much you can do in, like, five days, polishing so a whole bit. So you town, you're not leaving town. No, no, no. Well, I'm you're going, I'm going on the road you're more. You're up with the show. Ye- well, not, yeah, Ish. yeah. I don't want to say, like, break up. I just feel like. Yeah. It's kind of like breaking up with college. Irreconcilable yeah. differences, Tate. Got it. That was I right. Mean, no. Perfect timing, Jeremiah. I think <laughs> really, really nice. Your saxophone playing is beautiful too. I love it. I really oh, enjoy it. Thanks, man. Thank yeah. Are you Mexican? You look so tan. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh shit. These two um, just fell in love. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Mad Max Part Two just started right now, everybody. Do you, yeah. Do you, that's the next question. Do you date Mexican guys? Do I date Mexican yeah. guys? Oh, I have friends that are Mexicans. That, <laughs> Then I am not Whoa, Mexican. Whoa, that did not answer the question <laughs> at so all, Vanessa. That, that was an interesting answer, actually. Yeah. Wow. What does that mean? No, no, no. no. I, I, it's not that I want. I have a boyfriend, but like. Nobody's interested in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll date a Mexican. I'm not against Mexicans, but. <laughs> you just, it, seems, you're just, it seems like with all the hand gestures that you kind of are. <laughs> Like yeah. a little bit. You're just really tan You're for like, like I'll January. I'll take coffee from a Mexican if they're <laughs> serving it to me. I mean, you know. What is it about Tate that you're perceiving as very Mexican other than his Well, tan? no, he's so fucking tan, dude, and it's like January. Yeah, he's a real man. Look at him. He fucking like, does things. Are you outside? Yeah. yeah he's, I, he's a what real What are you doing dude. outside? He's I'm filming a movie. Mo- field all this. He's a fuck. This guy's a real man. What do you mean? What's he doing outside? <laughs> High fiving dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. In Jumanji. He's, on, he's in Sicario, shooting shit with fucking military, just big ass fucking guns. Every fucking movie. You will now that you've met Tate, you will not ever go see a movie with him not in it again. He's in e- fucking everything. Everything. Meanwhile, cut to Vanessa and I with umbrellas sitting on the side of the road being like, will you pass the tea, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. Where are you from? What's your nationality? I'm from Minnesota. I was born in Minnesota. White! <laughs> not Asian at all. <laughs> no. One, two, three, white! You're like the whitest guy on stage. You're blonde. <laughs> I know. That's why I did the previous act out with you and I together in it. Oh, boom. How, how long have you been with your boyfriend? Don't you flex on Jeremiah. Don't do that oh. Patty Reagan shit to Jeremiah. Whoa, wow. He's got snapbacks and tattoos. <laughs> what? <right. laughs> no, it's all good. Anyway, you attracted to Tate? Is that what I'm picking up on? You what? seem You seem no. like a little like shy yeah, around him. I've never really seen you like this. Around. My friend, my Mexican friend's in Austin right now, and so I haven't had a Mexican friend in like three weeks. I, I haven't seen a real Mexican. one in a minute, Wait, so no, I just I wanted to ask. I haven't had a Mexican so friend in three weeks. Is that the succession <laughs> of words that just came out of your mouth? I'm here no, no, every no. week, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's back on! Every it's single on. Monday. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Fucked up. No, I've just, you're just so tan. It's like amazing. I love it. I love how tan you are. Thanks. That's all. You should open with hey, that. Hey, you're, you're so tan that you're almost her new black boyfriend. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, Vanessa, She's rock like, and roll. Date Samoans, though, if you're an Islander. High five, Vanessa. Okay. <laughs> hey, Bye. can we get a cleanup Thank on you. aisle three? There's a wet floor <laughs> over here. Is that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just, oh my god, you're just so, t- uh, he's so, t- he's so tan. <laughs> he's like, so tan. So tan. It's amazing. Tate is the most badass motherfucker in the world. Look at that. So, like, what it's kind of black out. are you? This is, like, crazy. <laughs> I feel like there's a real question behind that. <laughs> like, what are you really asking? At any rate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do something fun. Before we go back to the bucket one time, let's do a speed round with a, a lot of people hate them, a lot of people love them. I'm going to tell you that straight up, straight forward. Red Band might not be the biggest fan. Maybe. He might, might be. Maybe the storyline. Who knows? Some people love them. Some people hate them. I fucking love them. 
Put your hands together for the Versi triplets, ladies and gentlemen. It's real. <laughs> what? It's so ridiculous. <laughs> Most retarded shit ever. Cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, growing up with brothers is tough. <laughs> Because you can't show any emotion or you get made fun of. Yeah, like I remember the day my feelings died. I was 13 and my brothers discovered my diary. It was so cute. It had a scarlet letter on it and it had a lock and everything. We had to kick the shit out of him for it. It was bad. It was bad. And it's like, uh, <laughs> I totally forgot that. I had, a di- <laughs> I had a diary like Anne Frank and I really, after they found it, I really envied her for a long time. <laughs> The best part was he was trying to deny it, too, and it's like he signed his name on every page. Yeah, you can't really do that. Yeah. And the worst part is, like, I would try to overcompensate by, like, thinking that I was really cool and placing, like, uh, a fucking... <laughs> it's your diary. It was my diary. I, was placing, I would place it out in the open for them to look at. I would put really cool entries in there. So for months, we were just getting... Fuck yeah. I love that I three people did worse than out. any one person here tonight. <laughs> Triple the horsepower, and perhaps the. I'll, I'll give you. I give you a ten on the entrance. I give you a ten on the entrance. Can, can Am I, I getting this right? Was there one Versi triplet just waiting backstage the entire time? No, no, no. He oh, was, he was there. okay. I missed that. Can Sorry. I give a specific detail that I think needs to be known for the yeah. podcast listeners? Yeah. Uh, they so the Versi triplets came out and they held up a banner <laughs> oh that said God. "We love Tony." And the third triplet ran to try to break through the paper. <laughs> but didn't. Did not break it at all like a football rally. It was the saddest football rally I've ever seen. He didn't even tear it. That's not my, yeah, he let go of it. That's not my fault. <laughs> it, it was like Rudy going through paper and then like, boing. <laughs> you really that, that, that about sums up our set pretty much. <laughs> I mean, wow. Did you practice the entrance at home? I, no. <laughs> And well, I could tell not. they I took could. they took more time making the sign than doing the material. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they real they literally <laughs> did. I could tell because I'm so close to it. I could tell that they did that. Like they, they wrote those letters with, heart a, with a, a marker. Yeah, those are markers. Yeah. Did you, did one of you do that, or did all three of you participate it was a, it was on the gr- ground at the project. same time, like children? It was a group project. And you guys still live with your parents. So did you make that at home? Yeah. So you made that at home in the living room, and like your parents are walking by and shit. They're uh, like, uh, oh, our boys on the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're really curious about you. They have no idea who you are. Because They've last week praise. they saw you bring a big picture frame yeah. with my face in it. Yeah. Here. This is getting. They want you to come. They want you to come to Christmas dinner with us. Will you bring? Will you come will to you, Christmas? Will, can you maybe bring your parents here to see one of the shows some Monday, and then we could interview them too with you guys? We'd have a lot of fun questions. Yeah, for them. Like a, we'll try. We'll try that to get them out. Sounds like here. fun, right? Yeah. They run a construction business. We found they out. They do. Yeah. They do. Like appropriate questions for their mom. Like, what happened to your vagina? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. thanks, Jeremiah. That was going to be one of the. <laughs> yeah, going to be lot. one of the greater moments of it, it all. <laughs> like, what happened to your vagina after like the three of them came out? Of it? Like, what did it look like? <laughs> You really think I don't know what the Versi triplets mom's pussy looks like, dude? Come on. All right, that was a stupid. That's why I never do your mom jokes, and that's exactly why. Um, what does your mom's pussy look like, guys? Well, we came out of her stomach. We were C-section, so. Whoa. We, kind of, Whoa. we took that, a detour. Is that why? Uh, by the way, I love that you guys have the one Versi triplet that has a lisp. The one that has, a, there's only one out of the three that has a lisp. And for some reason, they always have him say all the S words. <laughs> and then we were in a secret society. <laughs> like, it's just like, what? If only you could have thief section that fine. <laughs> That's exactly what just happened, too. One, w- one was like, well, we didn't exist. And then the other was like, yeah, and. And the other was like, we were thief sectioned. <laughs> like, it's always the one that can't say the S's is always the one left with it. What happened, man? Why do you why how, why do you think you got the lisp? And do you ever think about doing anything about it? Like you're, you're too, you have, oh, I don't, I don't you have two you have two like almost the same exact things as you on flanking you right now, and you have a lisp. Like, do they have anything weird about them? Maybe it's this crazy thing. It was so silly oh, that it doesn't <laughs> it's work. School. We have to figure out a way to make you guys really funny. 
Have you guys all and you know what I think it that is? That was so much and better. I think than Jeremiah and I sort of maybe have had maybe maybe had a ten second talk about this the other <laughs> night. <laughs> is that yeah. if you guys lose your fucking natural cheese that you have, like there was a time when um, well, that would be a bad analogy. Uh, okay. Yeah. If go they ahead. lose the vaudeville right. persona, just like. <laughs> Like, like you could even still come through the fucking I love Tony sign. I like that. Uh, but, but at, I mean, like, there has to like, be, like... Well, this okay, perfect example. Like, w- and Tony's giving you this note before to, like, watch somebody like the Sklar Brothers. Yeah, yeah. They're not like, hey, we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we look the same. Well, one of us has a list. But I'm not like, the Sklar Brothers. And let me tell you something about looking the same. It's, <laughs> it's not always... Well, same. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "It's just like you guys are just transferring words." We, we except we've even said us that the exact the first time they were on the show, the second time we yeah. were on the show, they're they're not listening to that. They See, I told, told this I, already. I, I, told, I, I told you, no. Brian hated you guys. Brian's angry, angry, angry. <laughs> no, no. I mean, but finally, we, just we, boy, we, yeah. we give the same. <laughs> we give the same advice. <laughs> no, but we I told I, you this a thousand shows ago. You were just we boiling just, over here. Just, how much sense of the same advice do they need? To <laughs> but I will, I will count, I will counter with. We know they suck. We're talking about it, Brian. <laughs> I no, mean, they definitely we don't even have suck. to give them the same advice because they don't want to change. No, but no. I bet there is. If you drive it in, look at them. Look at. We just need to take. Look, two of them are already. See, oh, they just broke again. This one's too goofy still. But, like, we need to fucking take your guys' spirit. We need to take your soul. We need, uh, we need to see a serious what fucking... What if one of you know them what? died? I think all... Of, I think... <laughs> How would you no, no. I, think, yeah. I think Tate's about to be the executive producer of uh, wow, season great... one of the Mersey Triplets. He's so tan. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See, like, you know what would be great is if you guys, better. for six months, all did separate stand-up. You not you can't be around the same club, but you all have to do your own mic separately for three months and see at what change. That could work. I have a different idea, and I want to experiment with it right now. Instead of being trying to be funny and goofy and shit, like try to try to protect. Because you guys are so naturally Mr. Nice Guy. You guys are the fucking triplets, right? Right. And I get it. You have to deal with that all the time, every day. Let's do an exercise right now that I just thought of right now. And I want you guys to be, like, uh, sort of, like, assholes. Like, just figure out, like, what's the most asshole-ish, like, what's the most dickheadish thing, like, that you could rant about that sort of, like, would surprise us about you? We know you're good guys. We get it. You just put the ornaments up on Mommy's Christmas tree. Like, we know. Like, we could all picture it. And you really did. Thank you for those of you that, like, I mean, you, you know, you're, you, you guys are how old? 24, but let's face it, you have the spirit of, like, nine-year-olds for some reason, right? So let's see, like, what would, what's something, like, evil? If we were to deal with, if we were able to hear, like, uh, evil versi triplet thing that you don't think that we would like or want to know about you, like, give us fucking, what's the most evil thought that you guys have had? Conversation, you guys, look how hard they're thinking right now. They're, like, fucking, like, puppies that just got hit in the head with an (laughs) aluminum bat, just, like... They have no idea. They don't have a single, like, hateful bone in their body. But I'm convinced that if you started tapping, if you'd find where that fucking fracking hole is in your brain of evil, and you throw a dash of that in there, and you mix it with your fucking Larry Curly and no <laughs> bullshit that's going on, like, what's the most I don't think e- so. Let's do it. Most evil shit. You guys want a family feud it? Put your heads together? Think about what the most fucking evil thing that you guys have ever talked about is? Oh, uh, well, no. Alex, Alex and I used to talk about, like, hypothetical baby rape. Alex. Not th- us. Alex. Th- Alex. Why are you talking again? What? It's weird. It, it, he Alex and I used to wrong. talk about the superior system of society. <laughs> <laughs> Super duper sucrose. Um, <laughs> you guys, your old material used to be baby rape? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was saying... Whoa. Whoa. Seven knows really at once seven. right there. Oh he tried to help. You saw our old material. No, th- you said baby rape, though. No, I'm, no. Not, I'm not talking about material. I'm no, no, talking about in real life. Material. What's the most evil shit you guys have talked about? Raping a baby. 
Okay, what about it? What were you guys talking about? How does why, that come why up? Why did everybody owe me whenever I repeated what they said? They're like, Jeremiah's really gone oh. off the rails. And they're like, well, we've been talking about baby rape, actually. But what about baby Completely rape? Completely turned on me, you idiots. I was like just repeating what they said. No, I didn't realize. It's back was, on! I didn't realize what was going on over there. Okay, so what do you mean you talked about? You st- that was a two-word answer. So you and Alex... <laughs> Well, yeah, Alex, Alex would talk about how he would get away with raping a baby. How? What? Say it. I can't remember what I said. You can't remember what you said? This is he, what I'm talking about. I, yeah. He All said, right. if this crib comes a rocking, don't come a knocking. All right. Cool. That's more than we got during our set. Wait, do you guys do stand up outside of coming to the show? Yeah. yeah. How often? Is it like going up and open mics and whatnot? Yeah. Two or three times a week. How often do they have three mics? We usually just yell. Usually pretty frequently. Or we, we bring, bring a splitter. Them. Do you guys ever think about going up one by one, like individually? Because I feel like you have like a, a sense of bravery because the other two are with you, but maybe if you just threw yourself into the fray a little bit and stood alone on the stage, it would be different. Like going up solo? That's a well, good idea. Correct. I, I yeah. used to do it. So like exactly what Red Band said? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoa! So to- Red Band does have good ideas when you listen to him. It's just how you hear it. You get, I know. You get I know. messages from different coaches in different ways. No, totally. No, no I, yours was whoa, way whoa, more whoa, inspiring whoa, than Red Band's. Yeah. This is the first time Can Tate I? has actually gotten angry at yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> it just <laughs> happened right there. Okay. I have a better version of the thing that I was trying to get out of you guys okay. earlier. I'm going to try this again. A little extraction unit feature here. Okay. So I've got this idea. Oh, okay, You guys Jeremiah, go up separately clearly... on stage. All right. Gotcha. Okay. You don't have the other two with got you. Got it, got it, right? got it. Anybody that's going to laugh at it, it's already laughing. Okay, so here we go. Ready? <laughs> yeah. You really don't have to stretch over. Okay. Ready for it? Jay's got an idea, I think. Right Meanest? Now. Okay. Jeremiah, please. Put the fucking mic in the mic stand. Sometimes it's just like, sometimes, uh, it's just unbelievable. It's like there's got to be some kind of signal. Hey, there Joel, must do be you have something. Any ideas? There must be something we can do. Meanest thing, worst thing you've ever done to anybody ever. Meanest thing you've ever said, a fight that you've gotten into. Something fucking anything where there's any side that's not just a jolly, smiling, confused when, little boy. When I, when I was younger in football, some kid, we called him Vagina Man because he was the biggest pussy on the team. And it Vag- wasn't us, believe it or not. And uh, his mom had passed away and whatever. We all used to give him shit. And I said, I, I, I'm going to knock you out and then piss on your mom's grave. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so. and, th- and then what did he say? Nothing. He was a pussy. <laughs> he didn't do anything. Wow. Whoa. Then he knocked him out and pissed on his mom's grave. <laughs> then he knocked him out and pissed on his mom's grave. <laughs> he pissed on his mom's grave. <laughs> I mean, I hey, can I, say, can I say something? Uh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right before you say that, can I just say one more thing? And that's yeah. it. I get the feeling sure. that you felt bad for months after saying that to that kid. <laughs> I can't believe not, it. not at the time, but then later on, whatever, as I got older, I was like, oh, fuck, that was kind of a mean thing to say. All right. Jay, go ahead. <laughs> what I was going to say is if you don't want to change who you are and you're just like, hey, we're good people, we want to be, I guarantee you could get a fucking Disney show, a Nickelodeon show. Yep. You could go on the road and do con- tons of colleges. Yep. Jim Gaffigan's never said a mean thing. Brian, um, yep. Brian Regan's never said a mean and, thing. Right. I just, yeah, the ho- it's a little hokey. Just you should talk, not perform. Otherwise, do a one man show or go to colleges and be like, do this fucking fun thing with games and blah, blah, and you could do that. Yeah, and you could totally. make a ton, you could make a ton of money, and you, you know you wouldn't be a, f- a respected comedian, but you'd be. <laughs> You would be. I'm not saying you couldn't be like a Gaffigan or something like that, but it's a it's a thing. You guys are a thing. Yeah, yeah. And I completely agree with Jay. I was just saying, you use the, if the, if you want to do something interesting as an exercise in this beginning it it's part of your it's infantile stage, you know, do something outside of the box for you guys and try a fun set where it's you know the evil Verzi triplets for a night or two. You because know he's I mean? it, it, on on that point too. Because you're so damn sweet and so likably unlikable, right? Is that you could say like the meanest fucking things and people right. are like these guys what? this yeah. guy just said he wants to rape a baby. It's like like hey, I don't it's mo- okay, he said it. Like I don't move much on stage. So during a long set, if I end up doing something where I end up fucking all of a sudden going like that, like it's like thunder and lightning. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got you. I got a question. Got to mix in different shit no matter what it is because in a longer set especially, I mean, people can barely even handle 60 seconds of what you guys <laughs> do when it's good. Well, but it's that, long. But you know really what I mean? Good. But we're, we're trying to fucking figure out something. No, I, thank you guys for 
I mean, we, we're trying to figure it out, too. We're, we're still oh, new no, to this. Oh, no, we know, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Maybe, I can't decide whether the S's guy doesn't say S's or if, he, if you double down on I the think he S's should lead. thing. I right? think he should lead. Wait. Good to see you, Sacramento. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, you ready for some silly seconds? Is the, is the guy that talks <laughs> like that the one that did the evil thing? Or, no, okay. no, oh. the one with the list. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna say I didn't know if you believed in comma or. or. <laughs> that's that's who he said it to. He said it to his brother. He's like, hey, that's our mom. Yeah. Um. All right. Anything else interesting about you guys that we don't know about yet? Can we talk? You guys really live at your parents' house? Yeah, yeah we live at home. Do you guys have jobs? We were we were construction together at their at their parents' company. Their you guys parents have other siblings. We have an older brother f- who's 15 months older than us. What does he do? He work he works with us too. <laughs> and you, you have a sister as nice. well, right? No, no sister, no sister. Only dudes in your Damn family. It. Only it's fucking terrifying. dudes. Yeah, I mean, girl, it was our fucking mom was the only girl no, we had. No, still now. just hearing the story. I mean, it's upsetting. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's you ever switch up girls or like date the same chick? Good question. Would you, would you want your wife to fuck your brother? Are you guys Eskimo triplets? I, I'm not. I have no idea. But like, it might be. You never see like in high you school. You're like, oh, I'll pop them. back in and be like, True. what's up? I just saw he was. Married. You can just <laughs> fuck them and not. I'm marry trying to get them. the darker awesome. version. Yeah. You know? No, we don't do it. We don't do any of that. No, like, never. No, ch- no chicks ever been Everybody's like. Everybody's uh, sex here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a valid question. Why do I get the feeling the one with the list beats more pussy than the other For two sure. does, though? At least awesome pussy. I have to overcompensate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good look, dude. God damn. All right. There you go. Triple, triple your you. pleasure, triple your fun. There they go. The first three triplets. It's late. It's 10.05. I don't know. Do we go to the bucket one? Do we want to meet anybody else or you guys want to go home? Hey, well, let's do one more. guys. You guys want to go to the I bucket know. one more time? Yeah. They, re- they really don't. It's so funny. The audience actually doesn't. It's funny to hear all the comedians, and I'm like, Does, do they really at all? No, not at all. Let's do a quick one. Let's do it real you fast. You guys want to do a quick one? And if it's interesting, then, uh, oh, like wow. I just seconds. saw one Square. girl physically shake her head no on that one. Wow. You can leave if you want, I promise. All right. I pulled the name out of the bucket. And the name that I pulled out is Sam J. We don't have time to wait, Sam. Sorry. So it's going to be Josh Sud. 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 What's up, you guys? Shit. Uh, The other day, a homeless person told me that I look like Amelia Earhart. (laughs) God damn it. And I was like, dude, I just, I already gave you money. And he said, suck my dick. And I did. Then I became homeless immediately, because that's how that works. Uh, It's like a pyramid scheme, like acai berries. God damn it. I wish they would yell like useful shit, you know? Like, hey man, brightly colored snakes are usually poisonous. <laughs> or like, hey man, animals that lay eggs don't have belly buttons. Like, how do you know all this? Snapple! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Fuck yeah, there he goes. Josh sued. Am I saying that right? Sued? Sued? Yes, sued. sued. Now, there was a part of that set where he definitely bailed out and started sucking dicks, right? Am I right? Yes. Did any, did, am I the only one that noticed it that time, too? Is this a prank show on me or something like that? So I sucked his dick. Um, that's fun. You're one of my favorite. Uh, you are my, the, one of the funniest magician figure skaters that we've ever had on the show. <laughs> Let me tell you that first of all, because I know you do both. You're one of the few guys that does magic while ice skating and backwards at the same time. No. Yes. Do you know some magic tricks? Uh, I used to, when I was like a little kid, my yeah. mom did graphic design for a magician, so I got free books, and I would fuck with it. You play an instrument? Uh, not well. <laughs> Do you read hot chicks to bed at night? <laughs> <laughs> like books? Uh, no. What do you do for work? Nothing, right now. What's the last thing you did? <laughs> uh, I worked at the Genius Bar for Apple. Yeah. Whoa, that's cool. But you what? don't anymore. How'd what? that end? Uh, I actually... Um, started doing stand-up and shit, and uh, 
Oof, that is not a genius <laughs> move whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do yes. they drug test at the uh, Genius Bar? No? Apple in general doesn't drug test. Oh, that's great. Whoa. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Steve Jobs was a huge hippie. <laughs> yeah, he did a lot of LSD. Is that right? Yeah. So no, te- teach us a secret uh, about the Apple store that we might not know. Oh, God, and this is being videotaped? Jesus. Just turn around so they can't you see You don't it. work there anymore. <laughs> 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 I might be trying when to Brian's <laughs> accidentally hilarious, it's the greatest <laughs> thing in the world. I might be trying to go back eventually, so oh, I don't want to really? shit on. Oh. Yeah, Dude, I need to find a, like some kind of stable. Income. What did you think was going to happen? That you were just going to make it immediately, uh, like doing stand up? You just gave it all up? No. Like, Fuck you, Apple! I'm going to be a stand up comedian tomorrow. <laughs> hey, goodbye, <laughs> fucking idiots! No, I was doing. Why don't you guys go chase your fucking dreams? You're just back a week later, like, ah, guys, uh, can, uh, well, my iPhone's cracked, and uh, I need your help. <laughs> Please take me back. It's me, Josh. Sued. Uh, I was doing artwork at the time, too, and I had some, like, Oh, another sure <laughs> not pay job. Great. Oh, well, in that case, since you were drawing paintings. Oh, go ahead. Um... So I sold a few. I feel like you have like a fancy easel and you like do it like naked at night with like hot <laughs> tea or something like that. You have an no, interesting digital. look to you. I know you. D- I know you're into some fucking weird shit, man. It was. Am it was I right? Digital. It was digital. Oh really? Yeah. That's not how I pictured it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Total. I pictured you like slapping paint around and like dancing like the Joker in that weird Batman <laughs> scene that basically half almost ruined that Batman. That was the best Batman, but there's one scene where the, they made the Joker look like an idiot. <laughs> Did you use the, did you use the Apple stupid. pencil? Is that what you use? The Apple pencil? Uh, no. That's sincere. <laughs> <laughs> sincere like, Is that a weird, creepy pencil? dick joke that you're trying to squeeze in How there? do you not know there's an Apple pencil? How long ago did you... It was over a year. Uh, oh, my uh, God. The Apple pencil's been out over a year. Oh, I do know. You're t- it's like the white... Okay. The Apple They're pencil. They're not going to take you back, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way you're getting that job, Josh. Get on your so, game, bro. You've been struggling now all of a sudden? What's yeah, that? You, you're struggling financially a little bit now? A little Happens. bit. I, it's part I, of it. How long have you lived in L.A.? I was born here. How old are you? 28. 28. What tattoos do you have? No tattoos. No tattoos. I was thinking dolphin the whole way. <laughs> 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 you do yoga? I have. I haven't recently. You eat granola, you ate granola today? <laughs> have you ever been uh, did you eat by a crystal? Did you eat granola today? No. God damn it. <laughs> How am I wrong how, on everything how, about how this guy? Often, how often do you get mistaken for one of the Twilight vampires? Every day. Is the moon in oh, retrograde? Cool. Yes or no? What? That's a, that's a good one. That's, that's a good, good one. Questions. That's very a good, good one. <laughs> what are you into? What are some of your hobbies, fun things? Uh, when you're not your I alter ca- ego, Godier. Um, one guy remembers I mean, Godier. There you go. <laughs> What are some uh, things you're into? You're know, watching man, the I... extended scenes of Kill Tony. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jeremiah. Look out. <laughs> Filling in for Pat while <laughs> lighting, for lighting the show on fire this week. Um, it's well, back I... off! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Josh. I, I, qu- I got sober five months ago, so I'm still trying to figure out like what I even enjoyed doing. Oh, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Now I got it. Man, so what kind of fun were you having, man? Well, let's a get lot. into it. Uh, let's talk about it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like let's have some guy. fun. Just Big Coke guy. Coke, Big pills. Coke guy, <laughs> yeah. for sure. Pills I mean, guy? There's no doubt about that. People snorting everything out of your <laughs> asshole. Snorting <laughs> it off the iPad. He looks like a I'm toad licker. I'm yeah, a bunch of old Apple there. shit around everywhere, yeah, right? Cocaine all over it. I, it. Re- I immediately regret bringing that up. Well, I mean, <laughs> you really... Or just uh, agreed to everything that I mean. yeah. Pandora's box has been opened. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal all of your secrets. Coolest drug, yeah. favorite drug, heroin. Uh, I mean, weed. Weed was great. I still am on the pussy. <laughs> for those of you, for those of you watching from the Apple Corporation, weed is great. What's your joking favorite drug? <laughs> Do one of those drug <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Do one of those jokey poos. What's your favorite drug? And we'll all laugh when you say it. Molly's fun. Molly's a good time. I never did any. I never did like any hard shit. I hate shit. all word ones. Anyway. So the booze is basically what was 
holding you down. Uh, yeah, that <laughs> was like that was like Pandora's box. Like once you have a few drinks, then it was like. What was your favorite drink? Oh, you like the molly? I just like IPAs, and then the IPAs got you. Well, no, just no. Fucking my whiteness, like man, just crushed me. One were you, second. like, stealing? What were you doing? You were doing something. No, just I would just do really dumb shit once I got drunk. Like, when I was 16 once, I woke up inside Six Flags Magic Mountain, like, in, at 4 o'clock in Dude, the morning. Dude, that's fucking baller. Talk about <laughs> yeah. that on stage. That's awesome. Yeah, that, you should talk about that. You, you woke up inside of the park? Yeah. You fire up any of the rides or anything? I was dressed as a referee. <laughs> you were dressed as a referee. It was, it was on Halloween when I was 16 years old. And I woke up confused. Did you just stay there and wait for it to open, or did you no. just? <laughs> I found a security guard and was like, "Dude, uh, is there like a bus that comes around here?" Because <laughs> I was super confused, and he was like, "How did you get in here?" And I was like, "I don't know, man." And wow. I was, and I was as a, dressed as a referee because I worked at Foot Locker, and it was Halloween. I just wore my uniform. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit! How long did you look, work at good, Foot Locker? Man. Like six months or something. All right. Got that uni though. <laughs> 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 anything else, Josh? Any questions for us or anything? How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, almost a year, about a year. Almost a year. All of it here in L.A. Because mm-hmm. you're from here. And how long have you been out of Apple? Uh, just no, uh, Nothing to laugh at there, <laughs> sir. <laughs> uh, like just over, over a year, year and a half. So you've like been unemployed for a year just doing stand-up. I worked at a vegan bakery for a while under the oh, table. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's, 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 that's what it is. God damn it. Under the table. We were so close. <laughs> what did they s- pay you in? Just Bitcoin? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, All right. Josh, we got to go. That's the end of the night. Josh you. sued everybody. He's on Twitter at the Josh sued. We did it. Another episode of Kill Tony. Yibbity, yabbity, jibbity, jabbity. Thank you, live audience. Oh, wait, San Francisco Sketch Fest, Moon Tower. What are you guys plugging? Crab Feast? You know you got to listen to the Crab Feast. Jay Larson. Crab Feast podcast every it. Tuesday. Ron, Ryan Sickler, Jay Larson. Comes out tomorrow. Great Download show. Download it if you don't listen. If, you're, uh, if you haven't listened to an episode before and you're a big Kill Tony fan, why not go back and listen to the Tony Hinchcliffe episode? Great do it, episode. Do, it, hey, Tony! do a little gateway drug. Let yourself right into the Crab Feast because they're doing great stuff. Tate, you're in everything. You're yeah, sort of you're all that pirate life radio. You can catch up on stuff, uh, caveman coffee stuff, and whatever, whatever. And a fucking ton of great films. You're one of my favorite faces to see on my television screen and movie screens. Thank Tate you. Fletcher, everybody, yeah, being one of the first ever uh, actors, other than like Rowdy Roddy Piper and shit, to be on our panel. Excited Woo. about that. Jeremiah Watkins is on Twitter and stuff. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Hey, guys, reach out to me on social media. <laughs> He's really lonely. At Jeremiah Stand Up. Uh, uh, and then Roast okay. Battle is oh. on Sundays in January, so tune back in to Roast Battle. And, yeah, we're super excited. On, on Comedy Central. On Comedy this Central. Is January, Sunday. Every what? Sunday. And then the, the last uh, weekend of the month is the Fortnite tournament Ooh, event. And wow. then at Mostly Sorry for Joel Jimenez on, on social media. Look how awesome this drawing is from Ryan J. Yeah. Ebel, ladies and gentlemen. Tony's been over a barrel hay or something. In this. <laughs> yeah, why? Is, <laughs> hey, wait a second. Hey, what am I doing? You got one minute to finish one off in me. I like that. <laughs> Look at Brian making fun of somebody's beautiful art. Uh, Ryan J. Ebelt.com. He has the Kill Tony poster. He draws every episode. I have the Kill Tony poster up in my living room. I don't see why you guys don't. Get a little poster. Go get it framed. How many pictures of your face are in your living room right now? A lot. A <laughs> lot of them. And actually, I'm planning on doing a photo shoot, and I'm going to fill my entire apartment up with pictures of myself. It's something I realized I'm going to do. It's going to be really funny. Some of me, like, doing certain things and, like, you know, big pictures of me. Nice frames. It's going to be good. Live audience, I thank you very much. There's a lot of dates that I have. I'm doing stand-up coming up if you're listening to the podcast. Uh, Calgary, Dallas, San Antonio, Corpus Christi, uh, a bunch of other places. Chicago, coming back to Zany's in a couple months. That's a really big deal. So get tickets at TonyHinchcliffe.com. I sort of like how this is like a really nice mellow ending right now. Thank you, live audience, for coming out. Have a great night. (laughs) 